But enough of that opening sequence. Oh, I hate the opening. Enough about the virus. We get it. It's a virus. <laughs> it can't be cured. There's nothing we can do about the virus. There's no answer. No answer. Oh, the virus. shut up. It's spreading. It's a, yeah, we get it. <laughs> Stop. Could you change the change it? <laughs> change it. To come up with this cute thing, the ONA virus. So we get a five minutes open that just talks about a virus. That lasts forever <laughs> and has been playing for months and months. Oh my God. <laughs> there is no answer. There is no answer. We get it. We infect everyone with this crap. <laughs> yeah, we get it. We don't need a promo that just consists of that. It's your hook. Yeah, that's our yeah. hook, all right. It's your Jeff Foxworthy hook. Yeah, it's, oh. it's just a concept. You pass the show on to others, and it slowly spreads around. That's all. God. We don't need a five-minute freaking explanation from from uh, what movie is that? Outbreak? Uh, one of them. 28 Days Later. Yeah, whatever. Enough about the virus. Sure. You must have hated that virus. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Take the virus out of the cheese. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I know one person it's not a good morning for. Wow. Uh, Billy Burry probably didn't want to get up this early. Nah, he's not used to getting up this early. No. Who are no. you kidding? I would have thought I'd see more people on the street. Yeah. That doesn't happen. Not people. Well, you do see people on the street laying there intoxicated because it's still last night. No, I don't mean people. Frozen homeless people. Stretching out, enjoying it. Oh, I mean, okay. uh, you know, bakers and big paper Co boys, cobblers and yeah. <laughs> Coopers really building nobody, barrels. There was nobody. I was disappointed. I was like angry because I had to get up this early in some weird way. Yeah. And I was just thinking that I was hoping there was going to be more people in my boat. And I went out. There was just cab drivers and homeless. Yeah, that's, 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 that's about me. it. And yeah, and cooks getting ready to open up some restaurants. But I, I walk into the office. I go. Uh, Anthony, it's just unbelievable that Anna Nicole Smith died. He goes, yeah, and he was serious. He goes, you believe this? Yeah, Anna Nicole Smith is dead. This is unbelievable. And I had to, like, give him a dose of reality. And he goes, is it? I go, is it? <laughs> I mean, really think about this for a second. <laughs> Look at her lifestyle and everything. And, and one of the papers actually has, it said, shocking. Right, right. It said something like, I, I, think, I think it's the... Oh, no, well, there's... There's reports, uh, people are stunned. There it is. People are shocked. CSI probe in siren shocker. Is it really a shocker that this woman died of apparently of a drug overdose in a hotel room, choking on her own vomit? Did That's textbook for this broad. Textbook. I can't believe it. I thought she would have been up there reading. That's what I said, teaching third graders, <laughs> and all of a sudden she kills over, and they go, hey, what happened to Anna Nicole? <laughs> Someone save her. They, they, she found in a hotel room, choked on her vomit. You know, she was taking a, supposedly a child sedative. A child sedative? A child sedative. Yeah. It's supposed to go the other way? Isn't that like jo St. Joseph's baby aspirin? I don't know. But she had flu symptoms, blah, blah, blah. She was taking uh, a child sedative, and uh, she was very, very groggy. Now they're saying... She probably uh, choked on, on her own vomit. On her own vomit. Are they going to have the hacky, you know, like whenever a celebrity overdoses? He had enough blah, blah, blah in his system to kill a horse. To kill a <laughs> but horse. His, but his tolerance was so high. Was it really? Somebody, somebody definitely had a very great conversation with her for the last conversation, and she seemed at peace. I think she was ready to go. Like, yeah. All yeah, those cliches yeah, yeah. are going to come she, out. She uh, yeah, really seemed ready to go. I noticed something about her, and uh, yeah, I think after the tragedy... She just turned everything of, uh, around. Yeah. You know, she always said she would be dead before 40. <laughs> and she's 39. <laughs> like that, all these stupid cliches. Well, they're they're doing the Marilyn Monroe thing. You know? Yeah, they're saying like, oh, she died like Marilyn. Yeah, great, but yeah. not quite like Marilyn. That that was the angle last night. Like they were talking about how Anna Nicole Smith wanted to be like a legit actress in Hollywood, and she she uh, she she ran her life like Marilyn Monroe, and yeah. there's a lot of similarities. But they both died in Hollywood. <sighs> However, Anna Nicole Smith. It was Hollywood, Florida. <laughs> oh, kind of hinting gotcha. like she can't even do that part of can't the Marilyn Monroe story, right. right? She never even got to have sex with a Kennedy, too. <laughs> it's tragic. 
<laughs> and she wasn't murdered by she the government. She probably did, but like the like the bloodlines are so thin at this point. Oh uh, yeah, probably a skakel. It was a skakel. <laughs> a skakel. <laughs> she can't even have sex with a legitimate yeah. Kennedy. Mm. You had sex with a like one of those hyphenated Kennedys. Yeah, she got fingered in the back of a station wagon by a. <laughs> well, by the New York Skakel's third cousin, Gakel. You got to leave it to the New York Post. Oh, yeah. And you know what? We'll we'll challenge you guys once again today. We'll challenge America. Can you beat this headline? Mm -hmm. The New York Post. Anna Nicole mystery. Was it murder? <laughs> <laughs> well, was it? What Could it have been murder? <laughs> What you got to do here, see, is try to figure out who benefited the most. Well, yeah, some gumshoe comes up with that fedora. Let me get a look at her, boys. Mm. Taking pictures with the old <laughs> cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Big flash bulbs going off. Ex stripper with drugs in her system. It's a little, she was a star. It's a little too easy. <laughs> it's like the beginning of that CSI thing. Yeah, oh, this is course. easy. A little mm. too easy. Yeah, where, where, uh, I, yeah, you didn't have the date. Oh, I got, oh yes, we do. Different bank. Oh, yes, we do, Bill. Well, Frank, it looks like someone didn't have her breast intentions in mind. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I got an email the other day. People were saying enough with the CSI bit. They said... Shut up. They said, you know, it, it was great when you guys started doing it, but now at this point... Like, the light FM stations are doing it. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's been watered down to every radio show Jeez. in America's doing it, so. Uh, Howard K. Stern, in the room. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Howard K. Stern was in the room when uh, Anna Nicole Smith's son died. I invented a K as a middle uh, name. And uh, now she's been, now he, she, now he's been in the room uh, when Anna Nicole Smith passed, so. This guy's this a little shady. Jesus. Well, uh, well Anna Nicole Smith's family, who... Uh, they don't really. They did, weren't talking to Anna Nicole, uh, you know, for many, many years. They're they're like, get away from this guy, really, or you'll be next. Yeah, they're they're actually. There's an actual interview from a month or two ago where the mom's like, get away from this guy, or you'll be next. Wow, mm. that's a little implication. Who knows? Uh, that's too really? bad. The whole thing's bad. You know what? She she really did live the uh, the stripper's dream, though. You know, like mm -hmm. their dream. The whole reason they go in the back in that VIP room and do the horrific things that they do <laughs> is to maybe someday land some old, filthy, rich guy right. who f somehow marries them yet dies really quickly, Yeah, and you're entitled to the money. I mean, she lived the dream. She did it perfect, right? Yeah. She was spending that cash, and then she gets herself back into shape, and then she uh, drops dead before she's 40. I think it was Trim Spa. She wasn't going to re-up with them. Ah. And they were like, okay. They took her. You want, you yeah. want to lose some weight, lady? Yeah. You watch. <laughs> you think you lose weight bones. this way. Try uh, decomposing. <laughs> yeah, you're really going to be light. <laughs> they should just continue doing the TV commercials. <laughs> just watch. Look how much weight she's lost on Trim Spa. Wow, look at that. It's amazing. Trim Spa, <laughs> baby. <Beep. laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hey, I'm just riffing with you guys. I mean, I'm not taking responsibility are. for any no, of this. No, it's all good. Well, so we're I guess not, we are, apparently we're not the only ones either that are a little tired of the whole thing. Uh huh? Okay. And Nicole thing. Yeah, there's some news people. Oh, yeah, they interrupted the whole day like the Iraqi war ended. Yeah. Yeah, and everyone's yeah. trying to figure out why was she famous. Because really she was a question. stripper that married an old guy. The, that story made headlines, and then... Her son dies, and she has a baby, and, and then just, she dies. It's, well, it's all uh, and bizarre. And as far as the baby goes, uh, they don't know who they the don't father know who is. The father is. It could be this Howard K. Stern. Or Larry Burke, Burke, Burkhart or something. That is. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Did you guys catch that uh, that that one report? It was hilarious. He was sitting there going, you know, he was talking about the whole thing. And he's got the hospital in the background of the hotel, and he goes, you know, and it's an absolute mob scene behind me. And he turns, and he goes to point, and there's nobody there. <laughs> and then he goes, actually, they're over here. And he starts pointing behind the camera. Ah, behind the camera. <laughs> they're over here relative to the picture behind. Forget it. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Just take my word for it. It's mayhem or, yeah, yeah. or they, somewhere. They, they had absolutely, they had no footage. They had nothing going on. They were just, they were just interviewing people who like clean rooms at the hotel. What did you yeah. see? 
Uh, yeah, there was a lot. There was like five guys. Uh, were they trying to revive her? Yes. Yeah. And they just put a sheet over her. Yes. Yes. Okay. And you hear? You heard it here first. Well, uh, apparently witnesses are saying that <laughs> are being pried for information by an annoying reporter, and are saying <laughs> they have their, uh, none of their own ideas. The housekeeper that cleaned the vomit up will be speaking to her at six. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> then I went into the room. I went housekeeping. And there was no answer. So I go in, and there was vomit on the bed. So I clean it up, and I left. Did, it, the make, day. did it make you weep? No. <laughs> <laughs> they, it's bad because they don't leave any money or nothing on the table. <laughs> Not I get nothing for the clean up the vomit. <laughs> uh, Probably got jarred up, and it's going to be on eBay. Anna Nicole's vomit. Let's go to Pete in Virginia. The rumors have begun. Go ahead, Pete. I think she... uh. Took her life, and he, uh, the son, took his life because uh, he's the father. You think oh. her own son impregnated oh, Anna yeah. Nicole Smith? I think so. Wow, that's a new one. Call the insider. We got a scoop for them. Thank you, sir. That is something. The son impregnates her. Mm -hmm. They can't take the guilt, so the son offs himself. Every time she looks at the baby, she just knows it's the son's baby. And finally, she couldn't take the pressure. We got it all figured out. There you go. You there heard it, it here first. There yeah. is the official story, the jeans people. jeans were too close. The right. baby's head was starting to warp. Right. They and knew. They just realized <laughs> that it was just a matter of time yeah. before that disgusting secret got out. And even she uh, couldn't deal with it. Yeah. Even she couldn't deal with the any press is good press. <laughs> right. At that point. <laughs> yeah. At that point. Finally, she realized. <laughs> right. Yeah. When does that theory fall to pieces? <laughs> After you've had sex with your own son and delivered its child, and then he kills himself, uh, yeah. Yeah, you finally That's had like, enough. Is th this is bad press. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Even she realized it. She was very needy. Yeah, she was. Uh, Bob in Jersey, what's up? Hey, uh, guys. Uh, talk about the Maryland similarities. How ironic is it that she died in Joe DiMaggio Hospital? Did she? Is that the Later. truth? I, I didn't I even look at the reports. Who knows? Are you lying, sir? I, I read a paragraph. Why would a hospital Joe. be named after Joe DiMaggio <laughs> anyway? <laughs> Just stop it. Ah, a lot of rumors coming in, Anthony. <laughs> we'll take all your rumors right all now. All the rumors, and we will spin them as complete fact. Oh, yeah. First of all, right now, reports are coming in. That's right. People are saying. People are saying. And reports are now coming into the Opie and Anthony program that... Um, we can't confirm is, or deny. Can't confirm or deny, but... Uh, reports are coming in that uh, this was an alleged suicide based on these reports uh, from people that are talking that are saying that the son <laughs> that she had was indeed uh, fathered by her own son. <laughs> and the guilt was too much for her to take. The, they fabricated a paternity yeah. discrepancy to throw people off the trail of who was the actual father, but it turned out the actual father was indeed the son. That's what we're hearing this morning. Sure, now it all makes sense, see? <laughs> I love that voice. And, of course, by uh, Joe DiMaggio Hospital. Yeah. Uh, what he meant was Memorial Regional Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> so the coincidence... It's, it's called Memorial Regional Hospital, but reports are coming in that she did die at Joe DiMaggio Hospital. Right. The similarities to Marilyn the name, now. Dude. They changed the name. They had to have. Reports are coming in that she died at Joe DiMaggio Hospital, which makes that Marilyn Monroe yeah, we gotta make similarity. We've got to make this Marilyn Monroe connection perfect. I want it like the yeah. Kennedy-Lincoln yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, similarity, where they had a secretary. Uh, Kennedy had a secretary named Lincoln. Lincoln's secretary was named Kennedy. Somehow, Sonny Liston is in the middle of all of it. Of course, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> How? <laughs> hey, uh, we're going to play different audio today. Mm -hmm. Let everyone else uh, do the newscast today. Who cares? But uh, did you did you hear what Rosie did yesterday, just before this happened? This. Uh, oh wait a minute! I just what shrunk. <laughs> I I folded Funny, my I legs. Funny, I just shrunk the shock jock. <laughs> I folded my legs, uh, and um, I hit the little thing on the chair that lowered me, and I looked silly. <laughs> Uh, we got a, a quick piece of audio. This was The View yesterday. 
two to three hours before the story broke. Okay. Of Van and Nicole Smith's uh, demise. Mm-hmm. And Rosie was on The View just uh, spewing. And uh, this is what she said before she had any clue about Anna Nicole Smith. I before the same anybody, time Anna Nicole was spewing, I would gather. Probably right yeah. around the same time. You know, big things going on in the news. And if I have to see Anna Nicole Smith one more time on television, that woman and her paternity test, and she can hardly even speak now. She, she, like, it's something that she can't even speak. She's like, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All I think she needed to do is to be, I mean, just OD already. Just die already. How well, great is that? People I mean, are that, now that's saying, how, isn't that how everybody felt. People are now saying, and reports are coming in, implicating Rosie in the death of Anna Nicole Smith. That was a code. Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, that was some kind of code that, that uh, put the, the murder in play. I know, dude. It all goes back to 9 11. Uh, don't even get me started I'm on telling that one. You, Rosie O'Donnell was one of the pilots, right? <laughs> uh, and then late last night, uh, Jack Cafferty. This guy's terrific. Jack Cafferty is a grumpy old bastard. Oh, he's just the worst. He's been run through the New York news mill. Uh, he is now on uh, Fox uh, or I think he, MSNBC. What I is, think he what? does reports for CNN. For CNN? Because last okay. night he was on with uh, Wolf Blitzer. Good old he, Wolf Blitzer. He, he's got From the situation show, room. Do we ah! have a situation? Ah! Ah! Not the situation room. We can't possibly have enough TVs behind me <laughs> to show all the news that's going on. Sometimes it's one big picture. Sometimes it's 20 little ones. There's a situation going on. <laughs> Depending on the size of the situation. The situation and the number of situations at any given moment. I'm Wolf Blitzer. He looks around and just turns around. Oh, my God. Holy shit. We're in the situation room. We're in another situation. I can't believe it. Look at the size of this f***ing situation. Someone screwed up by naming his show The Situation Room. Because yeah. some days the situation news day. is just a lot of snow. Some days it is. <laughs> There's no situation. It's just the one, all, those 20 screens, they tie it into one big screen, and they show it's snowing in Buffalo. Right. I, ne- I never realized what an awful word that is. Situation. I situation. How do you ever use that? We have a situation yeah, here. Exactly. When you go, uh, we have a situation. <laughs> we have a situation. What type of situation do you have? It's a situation. <laughs> do you know what a situation is? It's when there's something going on that's situated somewhere. It's a situation. <laughs> okay. Put it in a room. It's a situation room? Exactly. We put it in the bedroom. Well, how many TVs do you have? <laughs> We have 12. We need 24. <laughs> it's a situa- situation. I'll, I'll tune that, that in. That is a pompous name. I'll, I'll tune uh, the, you know, the situation room in, and next thing I know, I'm sitting up a little straighter and at yeah. the edge of the couch. What I, is... I know we're in a situation. <laughs> uh, Wolf, it's a slow day. So um, we're taking the TVs. We're combining them. So they're just one shot, and you're on the air in four, three, two. Um, if you look behind me in the situation room, you'll see, this is amazing, it's a parrot playing basketball. There it is. He's making the shot. <laughs> uh, let's go to highlights of the puppy ball. Did you catch that? During the Super Bowl, it was just puppies on a mat that looked like a football field playing with toys. They, look, they're adorable. They should have a graphic that you could just add on slow news days that say, sort of a situation <laughs> room. <laughs> There is no situation. <laughs> right. Situation is like a word like the spokesperson for a big corporation uses after they're admitting to like a toxic waste dump. Right. Like, yeah. And we had a bit of a uh, uh, situation, situation. Uh, a few years back, and uh, we're trying to rectify it. <laughs> yeah, it's to make le- li- light of what is actually going on. It was. Uh, we ran into a situation. Because sometimes you could just hit one headlong. An, an, an unfortunate situation. Ah. Unfortunate situation means at least 160 people died. Yeah. Right. That's an unfortunate situation. We got the Situation Room theme music. Oh. Or theme. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Not another situation. Ah! Whoa, help us. What's happening? You're in the room. He should have people just running by. Panicking. Screaming and yelling and panicking. All oh, behind uh, him with, like, flaming hands. Right. Ah! No! People in the Midwest. People. People in the Midwest are drinking too much lemonade. No! 
<laughs> He's got 26 different lemonade stands with little kids sitting there. The pictures just flashing on the back because it's a situation. Oh, boy. People They're panicking. so cute. I have to buy the lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> I listen. Running with copy in their hands, flinging in the air. I want to see a total panic in that situation room. There's a skit for SNL. Come on. <laughs> We give, we give SNL uh, ideas all the time. Yeah, come on. Run with it. Go Run ahead. with the Situation Room. How Have lame is it. the Situation Room? But, yeah, it was full of um, Anna Nicole news right. yesterday. Well, we're going to take a quick break. Bill Burr in studio. Uh, well, we'll let you know what Jack Cafferty said last night. Yep. And uh, God bless Clint Eastwood. Clint even had... Uh, God bless Clint Eastwood. As we continue with this situation. Situation. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. We're back with the Opie and Anthony Show. This is to you, Mr. Running Out of Scenarios. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Sorry. Just heard the commercial. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to commercials. This is to you stupid. beating a dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> beating a dead horse ad guy. <laughs> <laughs> we have Bill Burr sitting in for Jim Norton today. Yeah, I was saying to you during the break, the funny thing about the ONA show is, like, your relationships with, like, celebrities, it's like every other time you'll be cool with somebody, you'll be, whatever, you'll be cool with somebody, and then literally I'll come back two weeks later and just all hell is broken loose, <laughs> and then I come back to after that, and then it might be cool again. <laughs> it might not. And I always, might be, I always uh, find right. out when I'm on the road and I'm doing a station... That carries you guys in the morning. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're on O and A. We'll play an O and A clip, right? The first one I remember was uh, like Tommy Lee. I was all psyched to meet this yeah. guy. Yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah, no, I play drums or whatever. I'd love to meet this guy. And Roland's going, yeah, you know, you know, we'll bring you in when he's on. And all of a sudden, I was in. Uh, what the hell was I? I was in Florida, and all of a sudden they got audio of you calling him a pussy. <laughs> and, going, and he's sitting there going, if you hang up on me, if you call me that one more time, I'm going to hang up you. I'm literally sitting there going like, no! Here it comes. I wanted an autographed drumstick. What happened? <laughs> then my last gig I went on, you guys were cool with Donald Trump. Oh, and we, would, we would sit here and talk with yeah, him. Yeah, he was calling our show a lot. Yep. We were getting along. He was trying to find me in an apartment in New York. Yeah. Yeah, and then literally, I don't know where I was. I was driving to some morning radio, and I'm hearing... I think they were just reading all the horrific stuff he said about you guys in the paper, like... He called us two slobs. I don't know Slobs. Slobs. Two slobs that I did his, their show 40 times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what... Yep. That's what, yeah, got us confused. He's a whore. Screw him. But you're tr you're right. It, it's It's... And I'll screw him, and the next time I'll come in here, you guys will be sitting there, like, hey. like, you know, beer steins. Yeah, drinking with Donald <laughs> Trump. Trump. Why, hey, we, you know, everyone gets their little differences. And you you got to work them out in a civilized world. And then, what an ass. Uh, we're on to the Tyra Banks thing. <laughs> Bill that? loves the Tyra Banks thing. Oh, Tyra I can't rules. stop watching that show. It's it's. Uh, I know. Did you see this? So you've been on the road. What's that? Tyra Banks is a fatty pig fatty. A sign right in front of our studio that the pests oh out god. west, the POWs, the pests out west. Oh my god, that is the funniest thing ever. That is the funniest thing we ever. We really are asses. Yeah. Well, you saw her show where she had a claim she didn't, she wasn't fat in the picture they took. Oh no, she's she was like, and I'm going to prove it by wearing that swimsuit in ten days. Yeah. After 12, all, 12 colonics, <laughs> right? And I make a visit behind a dumpster. <laughs> See, I'm not that fat. I'm fine. Thanks Look. for saying that, Bill. That's what we were saying. Like, who are you kidding? The bathing suit's probably a smaller version. You've exercised your ass off, and you, you've eaten a few salads. Yeah. Oh, and the whole hypocritical thing was just so great, where she was sitting there acting like being big was no big deal, but she was absolutely horrified by those pictures. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she, she, we didn't know what point she was trying to make. She's like, there are women, these are real women that have this body type, and they don't need to be demeaned, and blah, blah, blah. And then she turns around and goes, well, I lost the weight because I don't want to be fat pig. I don't want to be a mess. I don't want to be fatty pig fatty. <laughs> yeah, she's like, if I was that big, I'd be okay with it. But I'm not. But I'm not. I swear what? to you. Fatty pig fatty. Fatty pig fatty That's is like so insulting. It's like something they would chant at it, like a fat girl who's going to be like the fat carry. Yeah. Fatty pig fatty. It, Blood's you, coming down like Fruit Loops and stuff. You should, <laughs> you should never say that. She comes back and sits on all of them and kills them at the prom. Kiss my fat ass. Yeah, right, That's whatever. fifth grade. After fifth grade... 
you're done saying things like fatty pig fatty. It, it can only really be done in a voice that's like fatty pig fatty, <laughs> fatty pig fatty. You don't hear like fatty pig fatty. I'm mature. <laughs> Here in the Situation Room, fatty pig, pig fatty. fatty. That's why it's so great. It's so immature. Oh, it's and you know it's so going to take her back to her childhood. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> we were we retired the story, but we'll play one more time for you. This okay. is how it all went down. While Tyra Banks caught a fair bit of comedic ridicule on the back end of her now infamous bathing suit episode of her daytime show, I really hope she doesn't subscribe to XM Radio. At number eight, Tyra's swimsuit clad on air plea caught the attention of shock jock morning DJs Opie and Anthony, who decided that Banks was right for their own brand of lowbrow public humiliation. I want her to see a sign that says Tyra is a self-centered fat pig. <laughs> yeah. I'll pay five hundred dollars. Oh, five hundred dollars. It makes the news. I, I got another five hundred. No problem. Pay up, boys. <laughs> After issuing that challenge to their listeners, one group of fans calling themselves the POWs or Pass Out West went so far as to put up a giant banner out front of CBS's LA studio where Tyra's show tapes and it read, Tyra Banks is a fatty pig, fatty. <laughs> Very classy. The Very classy. The sign has since been taken down. No word yet on what Tyra has to say about the stunt. By who the is, way. Who is that reading that copy? Uh, it's the dude from me, the Daily yeah. Ten. I forget his name. But uh, that's where she goes to work, by the way. Uh, if, it, if that wasn't clear enough, she has. She, she had to walk past She's that like, sign. "That's great. It's another episode. She can yeah. wipe her tears with that sign." When I saw that sign in front of the <laughs> studio, <laughs> nobody, I mean, nobody should have a sign that says your name and then fatty pig fatty, fatty pig fatty, and the audience is crying with her. Oh, Tyra, you can kiss my fatty pig fatty ass. <laughs> 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 anyway, is she doing any more jobs? I went to get an ice cream the other day, and I thought, "What well, is the way I do? I an ice cream store." <laughs> so for twenty hours, I acted like I made minimum wage. <laughs> and I was just thinking, "How will I ever my lipstick again?" <laughs> People, it was so degrading. My hands got sticky. The scooper doesn't work properly. Every time I thought it was done, somebody else wanted ice cream. <laughs> I'm like, you guys, it's 30 degrees out. <laughs> Slow motion, black and white, grainy shots of her, like, scooping out vanilla ice cream. <laughs> All askew, sideways, to make it look all panicky. With, with <laughs> ominous music. Sprinkles uh, on the side of her face. Uh, yeah. She fainted. <laughs> I was literally covered in sprinkles. <laughs> and these people, they didn't care. They're cheating so rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like I had a, a job douche. serving the public. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't get enough of her. It's we always know it, about her. We know it's a oh. chick show, and we're supposed to be doing this show for guys in general, but we can't get enough of Tyra Banks and her yeah, dumb, I, it's and her dumb show. talk show. It's e a great every, show. Everything she tries to do to show how badly other people are doing in life always just gets turned around to how horrid it is for her to have to do this to show you what the people go through. So it, 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 it screw the people that this is supposed to be about. Look at what I did. That's our whole oh, yeah. gig. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the natural fallout if like, the whole world wants to bang you. You're right. I mean, there's no yep. way to keep your ego in check at no. that point. It has to no. all be about you. That's why she needs fatty pig fatty signs. Coming up Monday on the Tyra Banks show, she talks to people too fat to leave their homes. How? Now, how is she's she not going to, to their house? To herself. Yeah. That's like when the paparazzi's camped exactly. outside my cabana. <laughs> when I was caught in that bathing suit, I felt just like you do. Oh, am I talking to your head? Where are <laughs> what direction are you pointing in, you mess? <laughs> All right, listen, we got to get back to the situation room with uh, oh. Wolf Blitzer. By the way, the guy hung up because he couldn't wait any longer. He had to get off to work, but uh, I think it was Greg. He uh, he wanted Greg. to say on the phones, a shady character was twisting his mustache and laughing at the scene of the crime. Oh, reports now, are coming in. About that and Nicole Smith. In Hollywood, yeah. Florida. In Hollywood, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Oh yeah, that, that whole hacky vomit. thing where the uh, the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that'll happen. 
He's got to go to the hotel room to pick up a fiber he dropped on the floor. Columbo's waiting there to flip the lights on. Oh, well, the excitement to watch the police tape. Yeah. As they discover his work. Just stands there looking all suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> back up, sir. Back up. Nothing to see here. Oh, I did this. <laughs> got on a top hat. Tuxedo with tails. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in every one of those movies, there's, there's like the arsonist, and he's got to sit there and just watch the fire, and and no one notices he's watching with like this look of love in his eyes. Yeah, lost. Like he's about right, come on, back orgasm. up, back up. He's just oh Jesus, right. oh this is the most beautiful. <laughs> How about hey, you might want to check this guy out. He smells like gasoline, <laughs> and he's like, making a mess. <laughs> his hair is all charred. <laughs> Didn't even take a shower. It's like a lit Zippo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and they just come on, move, move along. They never noticed the guy. <laughs> Stupid TV police. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Jack Cafferty on Wolf Blitz. Oh, again, night. Jack Cafferty. Yeah, yeah. He was a New York news guy for many years. He was bounced around from, uh, I believe, Channel 5 before it was even a Fox affiliate. Every it was like channel. Action News. Remember Action News? <laughs> I know. How old are you? But, it, like, it was these local news things. Now they're kind of nationalized. Even the local news. They were they called get... Action News, and everyone else didn't have action in their news. Right. They just had the bland news. Yeah. I think Anthony's so old, that's when they first actually had video. Yeah, it was video. It used Those to be just of pictures. Yeah. This is etching. News. <laughs> <laughs> it was Jack Cafferty and Sue Simmons was on, was on oh, for sure. a while. And then, uh, then he got a, this gig after being off the air for a while. And he's just a grumpy guy. I watch him, and every time he's talking, it doesn't matter what he's talking about. It's just this grumpy attitude that he has, and I love it. All Good right. for him. Here's uh, what he had to say last night in the Situation Room. Nah. There is a silver lining, though. They have gotten very, very good at one thing. That's taking nail clippers away from old ladies at airports. Here's the question. How would you fix the Department of Homeland Security? Email your thoughts to CafferdyFile at CNN.com. Is uh, Anna Nicole Smith still dead, Wolf? Yes. Uh, we're going to be updating our viewers coming up shortly on Can't wait for the this. mysterious circumstances surrounding wow. that, Jack. Thank you. Coming up also is Iran. <laughs> wow. Bravo to Jack Cafferty. To Jack Cafferty. And Wolf we'll Blitzer. Life meant nothing. Look, I'm taking this very seriously. He just didn't care. He's talking about Homeland Security. He's got something to say. And then, you know, in his earpiece, it was like, uh, Jack, um, remember to do the promo for the uh, Anna Nicole story coming up. And he's just like, son of a bitch, I'm talking about Homeland Security. All right. Yeah. Hey, is the bitch still dead? <laughs> or what? Wolf, fill us in. I like how Wolf played it off like he didn't even said, oh, yes, oh, she is. Oh, I know. Y uh, yes, she is. As yes, far as is. we know, we'll, we'll have an update on that. back to the ratings that. gang bang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. He completely doesn't care. He probably has two whores on the side. <laughs> we'll have that information. Oh, Jesus, Jack. Why couldn't he call him out and go, why Jack, did you say that or yeah. something? Yeah, what do you, is, is he catching any flack for it? That was a question that he didn't need the answer to. Yeah. Just being a wise ass. Yeah. Wolf. Is Anna Nicole still dead? Um, uh, Jack, yes, she is. See, when people die, Jack, we haven't reached the point where we can bring them back to life. Uh, unless you're talking about the zombie Anna Nicole, which has not been reported yet. But I hope during the Situation Room, she does rise from the dead, start biting people, and turning them into zombies, Jack. To you. Uh, excuse me. There is Jack, a comment now, <laughs> smartass Jack Cafferty. Excuse me, there is a way to bring people back from the dead. Is there? Oh, yeah. He said, well, you know, we don't have to freeze his whole body. We can freeze his head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How that long do you have to keep the head story. frozen before they actually come up with a cure for not having a body? Forever. You know what that clip's from, right? What is it? Uh, cryogenics? That's, yeah. That's, but you know whose wife that was? Was his wife? You're or? from Boston. Oh, that's daughter. Ted, Ted daughter. Williams. That's yep. Ted Williams. Yeah. Ted Williams' daughter talking about how Ted Williams' head is frozen. That's when I knew we were going to win the World Series. I'm like, we have officially bottomed out. <laughs> 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 that our Joe DiMaggio is hanging upside down. <laughs> Your Joe DiMaggio <laughs> is in some kind of liquid nitrogen bath. In different pieces. <laughs> in different pieces. Just his head. <laughs> They froze his head. From what I hear, also, the head really just comes apart. Like, you think it's a frozen head, like, you know, it's going to be in one of those glass it comes jars apart. like on Futurama. Yeah. No, the head kind of, it does degrade. He's in the backyard behind the place. They just have, like, there's all kinds of ice. We'd show it to you, but if we chipped yeah, away, we'd be compromised. We'd ruin it. We'd have a situation. We'd ruin it. The cells themselves are still damaged by being frozen. It's just what happens. 
to uh, uh, human cells. They they kind of just like anything else, when water expands, mm -hmm. it cracks whatever it's in. So when you freeze that uh, on the cellular level, it, oh br it breaks down the cells. I'm just saying this because they're hoping that in the future they can not only cure that disease, but they could cure the effects of freezing your brain. What a drag. They finally bring you back from the dead and, and you live out the remaining years as a waterhead. A waterheaded retard. <laughs> right. Because your brain was frozen. <laughs> they're like, they could have just left it out. We, we have, can cure rotten brain. We have good we news. We can cure frozen brain. We have good <laughs> news and we have bad yeah, news. Baby. <laughs> we brought your me out to ball game. We brought your father back. But we got some bad news. Some really bad news for you. The freezing process has done a few things to him. <laughs> right. And That's we what haven't you do. been able to we can't attach our heads to bodies yet, but we can just you know, through electrodes keep the head alive so Maybe you can work. chat with him. Hey uh we're we're following the Anna Nicole Smith story because it's just uh, oh yeah Here unbelievable it's a, it's a shocker. Uh, we're calling this the Situation Room today. Uh, Bill was uh, lo you were looking at another front page there, Bill. You this brought it to our one. attention. The the uh, New York Daily News. We're looking for uh, headlines from other papers across America. What does the Boston Herald say today on their front page? I'd like to know. What about the Chicago Sun Times? What about the Philadelphia Inquirer? Give us a call if you got a good headline as far as the Anna Nicole Smith goes. I heard the uh, Boston uh, police thought Anna Nicole was a bomb and blew her up. <laughs> <laughs> Morons. Hey, I got a report from Boston, by the way. Yeah. You, you know, Bill Burr's from the Boston area. You heard about the light brights, uh, you know. Yeah, it was, down it was the, a simple mistake. <laughs> shutting um, down the entire plenty city. Of, plenty of cities have made that uh, mistake. It's not embarrassing at all. To ten be, uh... cities. <laughs> it was. They were put in ten different cities, and Boston's the only one that treated these things like <laughs> nuclear bombs. I hope like everyone, an episode of 24. Yeah, I hope everyone uh, knows by now it was a promotional thing for yeah. Aqua Teen, blah, blah. Hunger Force. Hunger Force, Force right. And uh, no other city, you know, got panicked. Yeah, they hung up Boston lights with batteries, and Boston kind of went a little overboard on their security measures. Yeah, dude, I'm on Commonwealth Ave. They got these glow sticks. I think they're radioactive, dude. Get the uh, Nuclear Regulatory Committee out here. Uh, dude. Oh, God. So we really... <laughs> You know, we're a syndicated radio show, but we try to keep it local and pay attention to the cities we're in, right? Sure. So we did all that Boston stuff last week with the light brights and the bombs and stuff. So I, I sent out an exciting uh, email. I was all excited to to Dave Wellington at uh, WBC. Try to I'm catch like, a little what the vibe is yeah, like, like up hey, there man, after our discussion. Did you listen to us beating up Boston for two straight days? What do you think? He writes me back. He goes, uh... You do realize we live here, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's something you want to hear from the PD. <laughs> like, yeah, it's all fun for you because you're in New York yelling and screaming how awful we are up here with the light bright thing. But uh, we have to deal with the ramifications. And the mayor. Of did, what you're yes, saying. Did, did Mayor Menino go to the bunker under the state house? He commented and just wanted the people prosecuted to the full extent of the law. <laughs> we also are looking for... Uh, uh, financial recoveries in the matter for the police department's the efforts. No, it'd be the police department. The police department efforts to take to go with the bar. <laughs> and the, these the left the case, people didn't realize is that they cut the Bahamas. <laughs> so we went up to the police to mill out some money to use to buy the fast. God just come to the blood. He sounds wow. like a bomb went off in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know those war stories, the guy who jumps on the grenade? He stuck it in his mouth. Put it in my mouth. <laughs> Try to save my platoon and save my, my bomb blood. Gee. <laughs> he is a wreck. <laughs> oh, he is. <laughs> That's the email I got back, though. You do realize we live here. Oh, sorry. The bond. <laughs> the bond. The bond. Him reading his stories, uh, we can't get into it, but I love it. The Dr. Seuss stuff. Dr. Seuss made stuff. Me laugh so and, hard. And him when he's, uh, I shall not run or seek an election or not. <laughs> <laughs> he's just an adult. I'm sorry. He's your mayor. I know it, but I'm sorry. All right. Do we have time to get to this headline, or or do we have to take another break? Should we take another break? All right. We'll get to uh, the Daily News headline. We'll get to uh, headlines from uh, across uh, the country. And uh, Clint, we Clint Eastwood is uh, is just terrific. He had something to say about the uh, Anna Nicole Smith. I'm sure it was thing. very profound. It was and amazing. Sweet. It was amazing. 
Uh, Bill Burr in studio. He's playing the Punchline in San Francisco, February 23rd and 24th. Yeah. There you go. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Steve, you should link that, no matter what. Found a picture of Anna Nicole Smith possibly passed out. Um, My face. In the casino down there in Hollywood, Florida. There's all sorts of rumors coming in. One of the rumors was that she passed out in front of everybody in the actual casino. Yeah. And then uh, died later on in the uh, the hotel room. Just found a picture. Steve's going to link it on opianthony.com. The thing choked on vomit. It's uh, the ONA virus spreading They're across saying. America. Eric from uh, Bucks County writes, ABCnews.com uh, yesterday reported... EMT workers were seen pumping her chest. Oh. And then he writes, yeah, I bet they were. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't keep any uh, dignity in this, can they? But imagine the guy just ke- just keep pumping oh, away and oh. pumping. Dude, it's been four hours. I know, but I think there's still a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Why is, is your so hand sick. under her thigh? <laughs> yeah, huh? what are you doing? There's Why no- is your hand under her thigh? <laughs> no vital organs down there. There it's will a major be. artery on her inner thigh. I'm checking to find a pulse. <laughs> With that? <laughs> hey, now. Yeah. All right, our phone number, one 313 free one 313 free We go to Boston. What's up, Boston? Who is this? Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay, what's up? Hi. Hi. Um, during the break, I was channel surfing down here in Boston, and... Um, a couple of your, a couple of the stations down here have taken your theory of incest and have just run with it as their idea. <laughs> are you kidding already? No. Yep. Well, we are officially reporting that people are saying. <laughs> yeah, we were the first to report yeah. this. Because first to people report were saying. This. Our sources are telling us. And when we say people were saying, we can't tell you who those people are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we uh, keeps we... it safe for everybody. The news does it, so what the hell? We could do it. We're too. journalists. We're it's hearing people are saying. We're hearing reports are coming in. That people are saying that uh, Anna Nicole's son, yes, the one that died right after she gave birth, is the actual father of that child. That's mm-hmm. true, and that's why he uh, killed himself because there's a lot of shame there. Um, how, how do you how do you do, I break that news? Yeah, uh, and then Anna Nicole, this has just been eating away at her. Um, finally, uh, first they had the paternity thing suit uh going back and forth to t- could try to throw people off the trail but um it was all coming out very shortly so uh she decided it was time and, to and then i gotta add this we can't confirm or deny yes but but reports are coming in because people uh, are saying that are leading yeah. me to believe this <laughs> <laughs> Using all the good news tricks, people. Here in the Situation Room. In the Situation Room today. Today we are broadcasting from the Situation Room. Uh, CNN, please feel free to send a cease and desist at any time you want, but we're <laughs> we're calling this the Situation Room today. Because it's obvious we got a situation We have a here. situation. <laughs> right, I mean. Ah! <laughs> I want the rest of the staff of the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> just panic? But for the rest of the show, I should say. to If they're entering or leaving the studio, I just want them yelling. They have to panic. Yeah, because th- th- we have a situation. We have a here. situation. we got to make it perfectly clear. Because, see, on TV, when you have a situation, you could... We, you could hey, you're not yelling, Than. Ah! Oh, there you ah. go. Because uh, on, on TV, when you're in a situation room, it's obvious. Ladies there's, and gentlemen. There's screens and graphics and pew, 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 all that stuff going on. So you, 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 you just know you're in a situation. Visually, you know. So so we have to sh- you know portray that same thing today. Yes. And the only way is to have people yelling and screaming as they leave and enter the studio. If Danny's chicken in the people's head with hot car on the floss. Here's the deal. Danny does all his work over at XM and comes over with some of the fine stuff that yeah. we want to exploit on our show. If he doesn't enter the studio today for the first time yelling and screaming and throwing papers, I'm oh. going to be very mad. Because there's a situation. Because there's a situation. In the situation. You know, on one of the TVs on Wolf Blitzer's show, because they had absolutely no footage, one of them was just like a bunch of, I don't know, grips or whatever, setting up the microphones for the press conference. <laughs> That's when you know. That was like the lower left-hand corner. corner. There's not a situation. <laughs> yeah. But there's, a situation is coming, because there's microphones. They should change the name of the whole show, though, on something that it's like a... Uh, they could have like the eh, in the event room. Yeah. We're in the event room today. It's not quite a situation, but there's an event going on. We're not sure what it is. It's just something. There's something going on room. A happening. That we're not sure. A happening. 
<laughs> All right. Speaking of Anna Nicole Smith, Bill, you brought it to our attention. So we got the New York Post. We got the best headline in America. Hey, we asked you guys, what is uh, your local paper uh, saying as a headline today? Yeah. New York Post, Anna Nicole uh, Mystery. Give it a good delivery. Was it murder? Who knows? But uh, Bill saying the Daily News might be just as good. Uh, they have, uh, for them, they have a nice picture of her with a huge breast mm -hmm. and it says, Scandal in the Wind. <laughs> oh, scandal in the right. Wind. Because she admired Marilyn Monroe. Because the Marilyn Monroe thing, yeah. instead of Candle in the Wind, yeah. seems to me you're nothing like. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, Candle in the Wind is so um, romantic because, uh, you know, she lived her life that way. It's kind of every so often it'll flicker and go, is it going to go out? Is it All right, it's still lit. She's living her life like that. She's like a match in a typhoon. <laughs> you just knew this. This isn't a surprise. It's not a surprise. Uh, when you go to work today and someone goes, can you believe it? Can you believe she died just, like that? Just walk up to that person and go, of course she did. Wake up, stupid. Stop it. She was in the research lab so close to the cure for AIDS when she cut herself with an infected scalpel. Shocking news coming out of Hollywood, Florida. Oh, she was on the shuttle and during reentry it burnt up. <laughs> <laughs> the, what, what surprise? Those would have been surprises. Yeah. Oh, you're going to hear it. I know, yeah, the surprise. You believe she was, she's totally sober? <laughs> yeah, that's a surprise. She's working on a, on a master's. But you're gonna Everyone walk, knew. You're going to walk into work and one dummy is going to say that. Because I was the dummy here, by the way. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you were the dummy today walking and going. So to make myself feel better, I'm going to bring this to everyone's attention. There's going to be a dummy at your work going, wow, well, sh shocking, isn't you're it? about that. And the call, wow, that was completely expected <laughs> yeah exactly like when you heard lane staley killed himself yeah w was that like oh my god he did with <laughs> drugs he no like you knew everyone for years knew that was coming it was just a matter of when mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the same thing get the audio of anna nicole's uh, mother on holy good geez. morning america that's the mother yeah. well she doesn't look that busted up she's smiling well because she's just as effed up Anna Look Nicole didn't talk to her is. mother for many, many years. <laughs> Jesus, Anthony. Sorry. That just came Wait, right I, out. I didn't it even really know where. It was just such a, uh, <laughs> in said, your own world. Said, Look how fat she is. <laughs> she look, look, I'm giving everyone a visual here. She looks like Ethel Mertz <laughs> to a T. Her head is as big as one of Anna's uh, breasts. Yeah. She got a big, round Ethel Mertz head. Yeah, but somewhere in that body, she has the hot DNA. The hotness <laughs> DNA, I should say. Where? I don't know, but Anna Nicole came from her. Obviously hidden. Wow, look at that. You you throw the DNA around a little bit, and then it comes out like that. Look at her. Just, up a little. Every clip of Anna, she's just completely wasted. She's snotted. Look at her. I'm so... I'm just wasted. By the way... I'm spy, baby. I want to make the prediction. The next one to go, as far as this type of uh, 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 situation goes. Uh -huh. Situation, yeah. Uh, China. China doll. We'll be China the from right, right uh, after, WWE. Right after I don't know, right after, but we need me. No, gonna China gonna doll. Day, it, she, she's going to have a heart attack and she's going to fall on him. China <laughs> doll is is the next Anna Nicole Smith. You watch. It's going to probably take another year or two, but uh, you watch. She's Her heading eye, down the same look, road. Anna Nicole's mother's eyes aren't even like red or puffy. Ah! Oh, <laughs> oh God! God. Good situation, Steve. <laughs> You didn't scream. I apologize. Well, get back out there and do it right. Do it right. It's a situation we're room. In a yeah. situation and we're in a like situation. Full, hey, it's like full metal jacket. Right, all right. Yeah. That's not a panic voice. You don't scare me. Work on it. <laughs> Work on it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. All right, Steve is uh, coming into the situation room. Oh, my God, we have a situation. Yeah, we know, Steve. Know. Oh, <laughs> we have a situation. Oh, it's, it's, it's terrible. terrible. I'm sorry. We actually do have a situation. Why? We have two Bengal tigers in the... Uh, two? Are yeah. you kidding? I am not kidding. Two of them? How big just, are they? Um, I'd say Aww. about 30 inches maybe each. Aww. 
Wait, we, we got Bengal Bengals. Tigers coming into the studio. Uh, yeah, they'll. See, that's why you got to listen to the Opie and Anthony. Are show. they playing? You never know what's going to happen. Are yeah, they still at the age where they're drinking out of a milk yes, bottle? They are drinking and, out of milk bottle. You know, I and brought not a mauling camera. an old lady like I that brought bear. A camera. You brought a today. camera. I want pictures of the little tigers. Tigers are adorable. Baby animals are just the cutest thing, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> He's got his soft side. What kind he of really does. Belt? You know what's so funny to hear that within two minutes of him gazing at the mother of a of a, a dead woman going, look how fat she is. <laughs> I just you got you got to play that back. The way he said it was just like he was just standing there with somebody else, you know, looking at nature, like yeah. looking looking out over a valley. <laughs> yeah, he didn't say yeah, it like yeah. he was on a ra on the radio. Right, let's go to Philly, God, Brian. You're right, it Brian. Just what's came up? Out of me. Look how fat she is. <laughs> fat she is. Brian. Good morning, boys. Hey, let's go. Uh, the Philadelphia Inquirer just has it listed as a regular obituary. However, the Philadelphia Daily News has, she wanted to be like Marilyn. Anna Nicole Smith left this world teaching a lesson to a public that followed her every bizarre, over-the-top move. Money doesn't buy happiness. Ugh. Ew. Who followed her me? every move? They kept putting it on the TV. <laughs> right. <laughs> I didn't want to see it. All right. Thank you, sir. Let's, let's go to Dallas. Tom in Dallas, what's up? Hey, how's it going, bu I, bu 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 boys? Hey. Hey, man. Okay, well, the Dallas Morning News, on the front page, it says, Smith's life had drama till end. And um, and it's not even the main story on the front page. The main story on the front page is the Cowboys have a new head coach. Well, of course Dallas, you guys do. Course. Yes, it's all about God. football. That's the most important thing. Yeah. All right, punch it out. Thank you, Tom. Talon, the trucker. What's up, Talon? I want to call Anthony out. Yeah. yeah. And Anna Nicole's mom looks like Ethel Mertz. What's your target audience range? <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. Let me tell you something, my friend. Us, um, the uh, tail end of the baby boomers <laughs> used to have to watch those goddamn reruns. There are plenty of people who watch uh, Ethel Mertz. I'm with Tal. Reruns. On, reruns of in, I Love Lucy. You watch that in prime time. I did. A brand new episode of the <laughs> Ethel Mertz Show. Mother, I want to watch the television. It is brought to you by Texaco. <laughs> I've turned on the Dumont Network. I want to watch I Love Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> it's direct from De Desi Lu Studios, you know. You guys are and great. mom, give me a lucky. Because <laughs> smoking's still cool. Smoking's fine. That's right. It's good for the throat. <laughs> Let's go to Rick in Pittsburgh. Rick. Hey, Rick. <laughs> That's a Fred Mertz reference, mother. <laughs> What's up, Rick? <laughs> Rick. We lose you? Hi, Rick from Pittsburgh. All right. Man. We promised the uh, the Clint Eastwood uh, clip. Here it is. Yes. And Nicole Smith, everyone uh, is commenting about it. Everyone seems a little choked up about it, and it's very hard for them to really convey their emotions. <laughs> well, here's Clint Eastwood. This is terrific today. Let's talk. I, I, I want to touch on this with you, and then I'm going to leave it, because I know there are far more urgent issues for you. But Anna Nicole Smith has died. Uh, uh, sort of a whimsical character in the eyes of the press. Here again, gone again, celebrity. Gone again. You have survived so many careers that have gone up and down. Um, the hell is he going for? How do you feel? You're you're trying to make me feel senior. <laughs> senior I, I see what you're doing. Uh, I feel I feel fine. I'm sorry for the that the, this uh, uh, life ended tragically for this lady. Obviously, that wasn't uh, wasn't a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> but how is the guy he trying to care. do that question? He he wanted to just ask him, hey, how do you feel about the Adam Nicole Smith death? But he knew, like, Clint's like, you're like why are you asking me this? It has, it has nothing to do. Right. And what am I going to say? I feel great about are it. Are you comparing that whore yeah, what are you to doing? an Oscar-winning director? <laughs> yeah, exactly. How could you even ask me that question is pretty much what he said. Yeah. I, I think he know. had an issue with his age. You're trying to make me feel like senior. Yeah. Dude, you're 90. He is senior to everybody. Still benching like 225, though. That's the <laughs> sick thing. <laughs> but he is senior to everybody. But the guy trying to like... Oh, my oh, God. Oh, wow. there you go. Sam. Sam came running in in a panic, handing a CD to Opie. A candy was falling out of his head. <laughs> apparently, his head is full of candy, as per Steve. Yeah, there's a rumor going around. There. There's a rumor. People are saying, <laughs> here in the situation room, we have another side story developing. <laughs> yeah. Our own Sam, that works for us, 
Sources close to Sam. Sources close to Stan, Sam, who is, as I believe, Steve C., is reporting that Sam's head is full of candy. I can't believe this is me. And if you hit it the right way, uh, candy will come out of his head. But you, he doesn't want us to crack open his head to see if it, because that might hurt him. There are reports that that happened earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> reports earlier that no. one single jelly bean fell out of his ear. <laughs> Look, now, Than bangs the back of Sam's head and holds his hand out in front of his mouth, <laughs> looking <laughs> like... Open for yep, a little candy yep. treat. Here it is. You put uh, money in a gumball machine, you turn it, and nothing comes out. So you, you hit the machine and put your hand in front of it. That's what he does to Sam's head no, every day because he's convinced. And then he tries pressing his nose. Like a secret button. Somehow, rumor got out that Sam's head is full of candy. I think he has those awful toys in there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, there's tigers behind you. Baby tigers. Look at the little tigers. Wow. This would be really cool if it was TV. Well, we got to put the uh, pal talk cam. Yeah, of course. Up, up. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Very, very cool. Hey, how many, oh, how many more falling. weeks before they try to maul you? Yeah. At what point does it go from, oh, it's adorable, to put it in a cage? Uh, they grow up in a hurry. Uh, these guys right now are nine weeks old. They grow about uh, two to three pounds a week. So at a year old, they have their adult teeth. Um, they're weighing 150 to 200 pounds, and they're they're old enough at, at a year old to do some serious damage. Look at the forearm damage. on that one. Good yeah. Lord. <laughs> Look what, that could do some damage. Yeah. Huh? Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He's getting uh, annoyed. <laughs> Just noisy. Thing. That's a whine. Also, they make so, noise. Can we interview the uh, Bengal Tiger? So, uh, Mr. Bengal Tiger, what do you think of the Anna Nicole Smith death that's being reported this morning? He said he, said he thought she was pretty tasty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. For the love of God, can I pet one of those things? That's going to be a sound bite someday. Oh my God! These guys were rescue animals. They are Bengal tigers. They're very endangered species. Yeah. Um, so is the Anna Nicole Smith. <laughs> yeah. Less than got less than uh, less than three thousand Bengal tigers left in the wild today. Look at your little head. Oh! Look at the size of your feet. Yeah, those things really are wild. You can tell. You you can, try, oh, yeah, they just rip they're you trying, apart. They're trying to treat them like Siamese cats, and they're already not having it. <laughs> they're just, hey, buddy. Isn't that cool? How you doing? There's no taming these things. Oh, my God. You could try, oh, but... He's drinking out of a bottle. <laughs> That's a... Adorable. These are they're, they're really not, dude. Today. If you really look at their face, you see that Damien. Yeah. Look at him yelling at you, Billy. Hey, you just called him Damien, and he's not happy, Bill. Now, what's the difference between the two? I see that one. Obviously, Yo, the more traditional a, orange looking. This is a standard Bengal tiger. Yeah. Um, the, that's his sister. This is a male here. She is a very rare royal white Bengal tiger. She is um, digging her oh claws into my the back. God. Only several hundred of the royal white tigers exist in the world today. Really? And they were protected um, by the Maharaja of Rewa in India, and if he hadn't done that, they would be completely gone and extinct. So, um, But they will be at the Super Pet Expo today. Super Pet Expo. Right. Super Pet Expo. What's that about, sir? It's this weekend uh, at the New Jersey Convention Center, oh, hey. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it's all about fun things to do with animals and pets, and we're promoting that Cats are cool, but they don't make good pets. These are killers. Well, what could you do? Wait a minute. Tigers what? are killers? <laughs> <laughs> I love when I come on here and I learn something. <laughs> you do. It's an educational program. But what fun things can you do with Bengal tigers? Well, I'm a little confused uh, there. It's to, you want to learn about why they're good for the environment, uh, yeah. why it's we don't want them to go extinct, mm -hmm. and why they don't make good pets, because these aren't pets. These are cool to look at. Do you have to tell people these don't make good pets? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, everyone's well, a couple you, years ago here yeah, in New York yeah, City yeah. that yeah. I had one in his apartment. See, what happens is people rent Scarface. And they yeah, yeah, and, and see and think that <laughs> you don't quite have the drug money, but you have an apartment. At this age, they're very cute and cuddly, and uh, everybody thinks that they would like to have them. But unfortunately, like I said, in a, at a year's time, they're already eating like 15 pounds of meat a day and uh, several several hundred pounds in weight and very powerful What's animal. wrong with that one? Oh, my God. He's like, she's biting your wow. neck. Or... Wow. 
Uh, you know what happens? No, let people... her yell. Let her yell. Don't... No, that's going to be the one that like grabs some fat lady from Wisconsin getting <laughs> up against the zoo cage. Yeah. She's going, get a gun. Get a gun. Yo, get that thing away from me. I don't want to hold that thing. Jesus. See, what happens is people get these and they think they can train them and make them pets. Right. And they're not. They're going to be crazy to have these in your house. That, that one sitting in your lap, I think, is more docile. This one, the uh, the white one, is more evil. It's a girl. Say a need say anymore? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we uh, we knew a guy. Remember it? We knew a guy back in the day. He kind of had a few of these. We're yeah. not sure if he had them legally or illegally. Like in his yard. And he would come by the show every once in a while. Uh, he would just drive into into the city with a truck and bring some of these animals up. Exotic and one day animals. he showed up at the station with a uh, with a baby elephant <laughs> that he was attempting to get up to the, uh, to our studio. <laughs> and then I think a few years later he uh, he have a big yellow hat. A few years later he <laughs> might have made the papers. <laughs> he might have made yeah. the papers. And a, and a little monkey named George. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How the hell do you get an an elephant? We we don't know because it never happened. Yeah. So we were told we pretty much would be thrown you in jail. You are an yeah. annoyed cat. <laughs> wow. Look at the size of your paws. They're giant. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's purring. <laughs> Yeah, that's as close to a purr. These are roaring cats, that's so they can't I'm actually purr, it. but they make a chuffing noise, which is a, a friendly sound oh, for tigers. It's okay, tiger. Look at that. That's, that's her friendly sound. That's of adorable. Noise. That's because I'm petting her. Yeah. And and she knows I'm her pal. Yeah. Oh, I'm really she's hoping she's going to take a nice Vegas. swat at his face. <laughs> I, I will Shut love up, a Billy. swipe. <laughs> I would love a swipe I'm right on now. A fun moment with this lovely animal. Oh, that would be great. Then you get slapped in the face. And then later on that night on BET, some, you have to like show the clip on YouTube. Did you see that white boy trying to pet that tiger? What is wrong with white people? You become a YouTuber. I guess that um, calms the, the cat down. Uh, I don't want to hold it. Grabbing it. Oh, you, you hold him, Anthony. Hold him, Anthony. Hold him. He's, he's, he's adorable. adorable. He's adorable. Hold the damn thing. He's adorable. How many people can say they held a tiger and became its first mauling victim? <laughs> There's Anthony holding the tiger. We're getting video and Very, pictures. When was the last time you held a tiger? Um, uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah. He married one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took all my money. <laughs> hey, uh, the Super Pet Expo. What other animals were there? Well, it's this weekend. We're in New Jersey. What other animals are there? Oh, what other animals are there? Yeah, we're oh, in Jersey again. It's at the New Jersey Convention Center in Edison. Very nice. Okay. Superpetexpo.com. You can find out all the details. Get free kids tickets. We have all kinds of animals. We have alpacas. We have the ultimate air dogs, which are what are alpacas? Dogs. Alpacas. They have those commercials down in Washington when we go down there. Exactly. I, they're like uh, llamas or something. Exactly. Right. Really cute and fuddly, friendly. And yeah. We'll be in D.C. next month. Yep. Yeah. We're in okay. D.C. Uh, March 23rd at the Dulles Expo Center. Yeah. And uh, actually, in, in D.C., you can get your pictures taken with these tiger cubs. Yeah. And you make a donation to the Horseshoe yeah, Creek horrible. Tiger Foundation. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, that's it. Nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, Anthony, you, it you went for my throat. I saw that. I got milk on me. <laughs> in New Jersey, New Jersey has some of the, wow. the, the toughest laws in the country when it comes to tiger cubs, so yeah. we can't do pictures in New Jersey. Okay. Really? And we can't do pictures with the tiger cubs, but they'll be on display at the show. People can come by and check them out, talk to Daryl and Cody from Horseshoe Creek, and help support their cause. They rescue these animals. Yeah. So these are unwanted animals. Then they were uh, unwanted Aww. by their mother. Where'd you Aww. find these? Where'd you find these? Daryl wait a minute. Got wait a minute. Unwanted what? owner out what? in the Midwest. The mother didn't want them. No. That's exactly How right. How did you determine that? Because she goes like this and won't feed them. Yeah, she she wouldn't. Yeah, she rejected them at birth. She wouldn't feed them. She just after she had them. What was her away problem? From them. It happens a lot of times in in captivity, but even in the wild, a lot of first time moms they have no clue how to take care of their babies. Yeah, and uh, so they'll just walk Stupid away from tiger. Them. <laughs> hey, can we let the tigers run around a little bit or? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Like if you let that, yeah. yeah, put him down for a minute. Yo, man, get that thing <laughs> away from me. Come on, Billy. It's cats? cute. Look at it. There you go. Oh. It's going under Billy's chair. It's. Oh my God! It's ripping his leg off. <laughs> that thing. Is, look how cute. That thing is prowling. Look how. It, look how it moves around. Yeah, that, it looks like a a miniature version of the real thing. All right, the shoes look pretty good. Yeah, they're. They're just wandering around the studio right now. Here's the other one. 
Can we uh, pet them? Absolutely. Right. They're very friendly. Anthony, you, you ever been scratched friendly. by a cat? Look, you know how small those things are? Look how big this, these things' paws are. I know. They're giant. You get I want to see a regular cat. Is there a listener outside waiting for the walkover that we could get up here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be great to just have a just listener Just have him mauled. rip his, his pocket tee and his nipple off. All right. They're just wandering around the studio. All right, They're very guys. friendly. They're just curious, looking for... Well, guys, give it the big plug. We really appreciate this. We do more, but this is radio. Yeah, they're so just wandering around it, looking for a, a Makes it a little tendon. tough. That's all right. Thank you for giving us uh, the opportunity to come visit you. Yeah, no, thanks, no, guys. Appreciate we appreciate it. it. Tell everybody to get a chance to come out and see these beautiful animals and all the other animals at, at the show this weekend. Um, a few months ago when the uh, crocodile hunter died, uh, what, what were your feelings? Uh, that was uh, probably the biggest blow to the environmental community. Um, he was the greatest spokesperson for saving nature and wildlife and, and just a great loss. And it's a, it's left a void. I mean, somebody needs to step up to the plate and fill in and carry on his work. you feel like you could, you, could, you could step in? I'd love to. I'd love to. You know, but I, I don't. I'm not as charismatic as uh, as the crocodile hunter was. But well, his, uh, his daughter will carry the, his uh, his daughter torch. is carrying the torch. Yes, Bindi. She is. Yeah, Bindi's He's great. All, already all over the TV. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's what it needs. I mean, it, it needs that constant attention, or or a lot of these beautiful creatures are going to be gone from the face of the earth. There you go. All right. So it's okay. the Super Pet Expo, New Jersey all Convention right. Center, all weekend long, right? Correct. Yes. Correct. And, and the website, once again? It's superpetexpo.com. You can get free kids' tickets. You go to superpetexpo.com, and Sorry. kids attend for free. Yeah, very, very cool. All right. Oh, and Thanks. Leash, leash pets are allowed to come, too. Huh? You bring can your bring your yeah show. for, for bring food your, for the uh, wait you bring, you bring your own pets to you the you can super bring your pets to the show and walk around and have a good time we have a puppy playground you can shop all types of cool exhibits buy playground. neat pet products that you're not going to find in any uh yeah. any traditional retail store all right can we get a a, a goodbye from the Bengal tiger there say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye you know what he hates me let me start petting it. <laughs> Bill's good. Yeah, Bill's got the magic touch. <laughs> it's getting annoyed. <laughs> yeah, Bill hates me. That thing really doesn't like yeah, me, Bill. There, there you go. There's the goodbye. All right, we'll continue with the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> That's right. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. And officially, we have a situation in the situation, the situation? room. You're the situation. Oh. oh. We just yeah, had oh, rare Bengal right. tigers in the studio. They were adorable. They were adorable, but uh, we made Anthony hold one of the the uh, Bengal the tigers, evil, the evil white one. The as evil was, white one. As I was handing it back, the Bengal tiger, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> it took a swipe at me, and it got me on my neck. Yeah, it did. Look at and, that welt. And Look at I uh, now have a tiger scratch claw mark pull it down I've been pull mauled down. that's cool you got to make a tattoo out of that I've been mauled make a tattoo oh, by you a got tiger two, two marks there look at that dude yeah. they're scratch marks how cool is it that I've been mauled by a tiger real cool until the cat scratch uh, fevers you know sinks in they're protected things they, they just he didn't just eat a rabid jackal oh yeah just for everybody out there listening I, when I said the crocodile hunter I was trying to do the Clint Eastwood and in a Cole Smith thing. Right. But then I, I realized after I asked it that this guy was, was beneath the crocodile hunter. So then he actually answered it uh, seriously. That he would like to. Uh, and I was getting douche chills. <laughs> that guy wouldn't have been able to. <laughs> Just going, wow. That, that guy wasn't even he worthy thinks... enough to get him coffee. And <laughs> you're oh, asking him that geez. question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was really, I completely screwed up on my part. So yeah, I was did. just sitting there like, uh, nobody laughed, and now he's answering it seriously. <laughs> it was a uh, big loss to the Hello Kingdom. <laughs> we got Bill. Uh, we got Bill Burr in for Jim Norton today. Bill's going to be at the Punchline in San Francisco in two weeks, I believe. Right? Yeah, and I'm doing another uh, uh, installment of uh, Uninformed tomorrow night with Joe DeRosa. Oh, that's right on 202 on XM. Yeah, Very good. 9 p.m. to 12. All right, midnight. We were just talking about China Doll. Yes. Joni Lar, 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 whatever. Lar, yeah. Lar. She used to be China on the on uh, the WWF, and then uh, Vince, you know, kicked her out and said, "You can't use the name anymore." Can't use the name. Can't, we we own everything. We own you. Please leave. So she changed her name to China Doll. Yeah. And uh, this is what you want when you die, unexpectedly. You want 
You want China Doll talking for you on Larry King. Uh, <laughs> sounding completely incoherent. It's just babbling. They should have been a tag team wrestling team. Yeah. Now that's an idea. A tag team wrestling team. Team, team. A lot of teams in there. <laughs> you guys. It's the Tylenol PM. This I'm audio is great. China on Larry King last night. Listen to this. And we were just saying that uh, she's going to be next. She's yeah, be she next. she really sounds she, like she's on that road. She's she pretty much lives the same uh, lifestyle as uh, Anna Nicole Smith. Here's China from Larry King. China, you're having a rough time with this. I totally saw that coming. <laughs> I feel that. Um, you saw it coming. But and from my perspective, is she on after the Andy Dick I mean, interview? I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell voice is that? <laughs> I I totally feel. Uh, <laughs> See, I'm on the same drugs that she's on. <laughs> yeah, right. And it really um, upsets me to think I might have to change my drugs. <laughs> I actually died last night, but they were able to revive me. So I was like, Anna, I like totally died last night. You might want to stop doing these. And she said, I'm not. You know what you miss with China? What you guys are missing with China? She tries the whole time when she's talking not to sound manly. Like a man. But then it pops out every, every once in a while. <laughs> it's so tragic to have this awful thing happen to my friend, <laughs> Anna Nicole Smith. It's terrible to think that this tragic event might actually happen to some holy sh Wow. <laughs> Wait, Larry, I gotta scratch my... <laughs> That's what she's she's trying so hard to sound like a like she's female. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on inside that body. It's such but. a tragedy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let me punch myself in the. Uh... And stupid Larry King. Yeah. What does he know? We're here talking with Greta Garbo. <laughs> what year is it? I don't know. What do you think about that whole fatty Arbuckle Coke <laughs> bottle debacle? Wasn't that horrible? The Black Doll. The Black Doll, you murders. We'll be talking <laughs> right. to some of the people that were there. We'll be talking to the head. We got an exclusive. <laughs> what? We got the upper half of the body and then the exclusive lower half interview on Wolf Blitzer's situation room. Because that's more of a situation. I when can make something. When just the lower the head. half of a body sits in your interview room, that's... you're in trouble, folks. <laughs> Coming up after the break, Edward G. Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to this. Back up. I mean, I mean, uh, ah, ah, ah. it's just. Uh, Everybody's so sad now. I mean, what this little woman has been ridiculed from a joke. Uh, um, <laughs> people have taken advantage of her. You know, you start to go, why, why, why are you doing this? You know. Um. Wow. Because wow. because she sounded just like you. Yeah. That's why. I like how she was just doing like. Uh, just like every every word, like a thesaurus of being <laughs> just been ridiculed, uh, made fun of, uh, embarrassed by other people, uh, just mocked, mocked. Yeah, uh, what's another one? Uh, vilified. Mentally, I keep passing out. Jeered, so made fun of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean jeered <laughs> and made fun of. <laughs> <laughs> Well, ridiculed. <laughs> this is why I love the guys uh, that work for us, Anthony. The next track is labeled China Continues to Explain Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here it is from Larry King last night. Um, I just, it's hard for people to relate um, that when you're dealing with a public scrutiny or uh, nonstop, or the, the, you know, the, everybody's watching you, everybody's looking at you, and everything is usually towards the negative. And she's done, you know, reality shows, and I've done, I've done them too, and I've, I've been involved in. Do you, feel, do you hear what I'm saying, though? Yeah, the she, voice starts to yeah, come out, and uh, she has to, like, knock it back down. I've done the reality shows, <laughs> and uh, I was involved in them. What was it like? Uh, did you ever see Anna Nicole dating President Kennedy? <laughs> Comment, China. 
What? No, you seem as confused as I am, Larry. Mine's drug induced. Yours must be Alzheimer's. <laughs> I don't have Alzheimer's. Yeah. Next, we'll be Larry. talking with Humphrey Bogart about his relationship. Larry, you're, you're old. You're uh, decrepit. Uh, gonna die. Soon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> she just keeps <laughs> explaining, defining a word over and over. Yeah. Again. She's like so connected to the situation. Too. I did reality shows. She did some reality shows. Uh, I, uh, the stars in a house. Uh, We're all just part of a living organism on this big blue marble, <laughs> aren't we? It's an enigma wrapped what? up in a riddle. In a riddle. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I was talking with Rutherford B. Hayes the other day, <laughs> yeah, let's get. Then we gotta get more of this. What on. an ass, Larry There's, King is. I was having a sarsaparilla with Winston Churchill. <laughs> They just got done hunting the rare white rhino. <laughs> There's plenty of them. Yeah. <laughs> There's like herds of them I've seen. Global warming. I was in Greenland last year in 1946. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrating the fall of the Nazi regime. <laughs> She's done, you know, reality shows, and I've done, I've done them too, and I've, I've been involved in wrestling. I feel that I okay. feel when when they talk about when she talks about her feelings that they're the same exact as mine. Yes. Yeah. Well, why she, she loved, and I have one. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I just feel it sometimes. Scroto. It's got a <laughs> Your name is China. What do you think about how Nixon is opening up China to the United States? Comment. <laughs> Are you a fan of the panda bear? <laughs> <laughs> They're adorable. Some athletes, some living athletes have been taken hostage. <laughs> I don't know if you wanted to comment. We might have to cut in. Breaking story. Uh, from Lakehurst, New Jersey, some kind of airship disaster. <laughs> we'll fill you in on the horror. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to hear them moan this, to each other. Show uh, 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 <laughs> Larry, uh, China. <laughs> this show should be on the History Channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, here, we, here we go. Here we go. More. Uh, the wife of... Oh. China. Okay, more China. Good. I, I don't care about anyone else. Do you buy what uh, China's saying? That you know, not at all. In the, you don't agree? Not at all, Larry. Um, I just was. Uh... This is the wife of uh, Trim Spa CEO doing damage control. Says China's not friends with Anna. In the Bahamas, oh. visiting with Anna three weeks ago. Myself, John James, we're close friends of Anna. And um, when I asked her about Joni Lawyer, her name, uh, China. If she was friends with her, she said not at all. And um, it seems to me that Caddy. China keeps putting everything back on her and trying to put herself in the limelight. But the pure fact is... <laughs> Dear Larry. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> wow, man. China's nuts, huh? China, what do you think about your people's work on the transcontinental railroad? <laughs> Will it be completed on schedule to drive the Golden Spike? Common China. <laughs> Why do your people wear those pointy hats? <clears throat> China comment. Well, here's the next clip. Uh, China tries not to admit that she was stalking Anna Nicole Smith. <laughs> stalking? <laughs> China, I'm implicating you in her murder. Why the f did I watch my name? Reports is coming night. in. You ever notice he, he's been wearing suspenders so long they've literally like pulled down that muscle in between the neck <laughs> and his shoulders. It's growing like when it's when a sign is next to a tree for long enough and it engulfs the sign. That's what Larry's body's doing to his suspenders. Doctor, I know. pry the suspenders out of it's the like, gaps in my shoulders. It's like sleeping with your contact lenses on. He just never takes the suspenders off. <laughs> Leave them on all the time. Because well, it's holding up everything. Yeah. <laughs> everything. Uh, here we go. China tries not my to admit. My would hit the floor if I didn't keep my suspenders on. <laughs> Comment. Comment, China, on my Turkish taffy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> uh, Shiny, you want to respond to what Monique said, that you were not a friend of, of Anna Nicole's and that they take umbrage that you go around saying you were? Uh, I'm shocked because that wasn't the point. The point was uh, I didn't speak to Anna a whole lot afterwards because she. Well, I tried to, but she wouldn't. But she didn't want to. She, uh, Major uh, Nelson, I... Uh, I don't think it's that she didn't want to be a friend of, her, of mine. I think it's just that you want to be alone, you know. It's, alone. You kind of don't want to go out or... She, she asked me to many times to come over to the to go over and hang out at the pool with her. And then I, at those times, I didn't want to go out of my... I, I think Paula Abdul, China, and Anna Nicole <laughs> Smith all have the same drug dealer. The same drugs. Same drug they dealer. sound... All the same. Reports coming in in her hotel room found on the night table. Garlic and Welch's grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> is this news? Can you OD on garlic? Dude, this isn't a podcast. This is CNN. I know. This, this is, is CNN. This. And who's Monique? Who the f, who f knows? Who the f <laughs> knows? <laughs> who is Comedian, Monique? Right? Monique is uh, the CEO's wife, I guess. CEO? Of Trim Spa. Oh, okay. Uh, they were they were reaching last oh, night. Oh, they're trying to backpedal a little yeah. bit. All right, here's uh, Monique says Anna said China was indeed a stalker. Mm -hmm. Well, um, when I was at Daniel's and my husband was at Daniel's funeral, I asked her, why isn't there any family members? What about your friends? And I remember uh, China being on your show when Daniel just died. And as far as I'm concerned, taking some low shots about right away she went to all these allegations like she knew all this stuff about Anna, but yet when I talked to Anna, she said that she kind of was like a stalker and she would call her and Anna didn't want to return her calls. Um, so for someone to make claims like they know something about someone when they haven't even spoken to them for a while, right. I just well, why is this stop. about, why is okay, this about we'll Anna? Uh, 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 we'll get, because, so because, proper. She, because just for credentials, that's all. But we'll get off that now. We want to go back to, uh, to Anna Nicole. Exactly. Uh, well, exactly. go back to uh, my next question. Uh, talkies, do you think they'll catch on? <laughs> Why is this about the fact that I don't really know her and I'm on TV talking about her? <laughs> I mean, what do you think about it? I was just a friend. I said at her funeral, her father's, her son's funeral, <laughs> who died? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> She's uh, she's just downright creepy. We had her in recently. Yeah, yeah. she's just lost. There's something in those eyes that no, it's long gone. Long gone. They're man. glazed over. Long gone. <clears throat> I don't know. It's not the point. The point of the matter is, that I just feel very sorry for her. <laughs> Take very her in the sorry. death pool. Take her in the death pool. Put the lotion in the bucket. <laughs> oh. Oh. She's tucking and dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, do we have that, uh, can we play that James Gum, uh, song over here? The Alice in Chains one? Is there curses in it? Ah, oh, that's too bad. Uh, One Nut. Yeah, I, I, you guys just did what I was calling in for. Uh, no, I was going to use, I was going to use your first setup, but I don't think we could play the song. Find out there, E-Rock, will you? All right, One Nut, thanks. I was going to say, uh, what you saying, Nicole, a great big fat person? <laughs> yeah. You're about a size 14. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry there. We really can't play that? What happened? We got a clean version? Is it worth playing, though? Three minutes. Uh, uh, well, I got a card right here. Well, let's we'll try it. We got to step aside anyway. Um, What's the deal on this song? James Gum uh, sings Alice in Chains. Yeah, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Down in the hole. I don't know. That's all we need to say about yeah, this. Yeah, because, you know, you're, everyone knows the movie. All right, we're going to take a chance right now. I don't even know if this uh, uh, works right now. Uh, check it out. Would you? You're listening to the Opie and Anthony Show. Taking over America and Canada very, very slowly. It's a virus called the ONA virus. Uh, our phone number, one 313 free We got an exclusive interview. They're pulling him out of the woodwork today because of the uh, Anna Nicole Smith situation. Oh, uh, the big situation. It's like uh, major news. And it's bigger than what Gerald Ford died. It really is. It's getting more coverage. 
They're going to uh, probably uh, show the funeral, do that whole thing. Fly her body around the whole <laughs> country. <laughs> On tour. To be viewed at strip clubs across the country. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the stage right now in a casket. Rolling out with glass slippers on. For the last try. Last time oh, ever wow. added a call spam on the Get those dollar bills out. We want to fill this casket by the end of this song. This is Journey. <laughs> 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 Don't stop <laughs> believing. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. The last time ever coming to the stage. Right now, one of the hottest girls in America. You know her. You've seen her on reality shows everywhere. And now... Your final opportunity to see her because she's dead. Ladies and gentlemen, we hold up the cows. Get out of the stage right now. It's out of the cold front. Let's hear it for her. Out of cold fast. Dennis and Doorknob. Look at her lay there. Just throw dollars in. Come on, Portia. Give her a push out there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, fellas. You know you still want to hit it. Probably looks better than your girlfriend now. That's why you're here. I'm just kidding. Get those dollars out. This is Night Ranger. <laughs> this that is going to be available for pictures after her performance, where she just lays there. <laughs> this just in on Larry King tonight, talking about Anna Nicole Smith, the one, the only, ah. Tara Reid. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. It's, I can't believe it. She's dead. What happened? Was this the drugs? Good. Good. She was ripping me off. Hoo -hoo. I'm the blonde whore, <laughs> drug addict, piece of crap. No, so you're nothing. saying she's ripping you off. Unintelligible. She's ripping me off. Hoo -hoo. I invented drug addicted <laughs> blonde bimbos on E. Oh, my God, guys. We're all going to go out and we're going to drink and we're going to just die tonight. Okay? <laughs> Everybody? Right, it's time to die now. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to hang out and watch. I was going to do it. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's insane. It's sick. People talk about you. I, I, I get <laughs> You seem pretty choked up about it, Tara Reid. No, it's just the way I talk all the time. I can't, I can't even get a word out. <laughs> it's phlegm from Smith cigarette smoking. It's sucking on an aerosol can. When did they allow women to start smoking? Where have I been? <laughs> what are you girls doing? Hiding out smoking? Next thing they'll do, give you the vote. Women, <laughs> I joke. Women's suffrage when we get back. <laughs> when we get back. I have to look at the tiger that scratched me on Fox 5 News now. What? They're on... Those are the same tigers? Yeah, they said... Better be. White one. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, look at him. That's the guy, right? Please there. scratch the fox guy. That would be... Terrific. Or the bimbo that yelled at one of our pests. Why do they always have the blue rug? Yeah, let's go to Paul in Jersey. Paul, what's up? Nasty tiger, that white one was. The orange oh, one was guy. cute. That's the one that swiped you, right? That one's the one. Yeah. Hey, I want Paul. him arrested immediately. Uh, last night on uh, NBC's 30 Rock, they had a room full of homeless people, shopping carts and all. Wow, stuck right up front. Wait, what happened? Last night on NBC's 30 Rock. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Had a short cut to a scene, room full of homeless people, shopping carts up front, big wow sticker. No way. Really? Oh, yeah. I, nice. I DVR'd it. I haven't checked it out yet. Cool. All right, dude. Take Thanks, care, Paul. You know, these two are a little too free to hold, hand over their tigers. Look, okay, good. Jody Applegate from Channel 5 is now completely holding that white beastly tiger that that mauled me. And and now it's getting rambunctious. Please scratch her. Look, it's scratching her. Come on, scratch her neck. Yeah, pat its back oh, like yeah, a mommy. Here it goes. Here it goes. Bite her face. Right There about. it is. There it is. Look, see, she's getting freaked out. But, but the two guys are just like, ah, eh, look, she's trying to give it back. That's when it'll get you. Bite her face. This is just like Johnny Carson when he was handling animals. Oh, no, unpredictable. Oh, She's trying oh. to give it back. Oh, no. What's yeah. going to happen? Ah. Yeah. Johnny was the only one that could do ah, that bit. Everyone Ed. has tried since, and it mm. just looks so hacky. Ed, ah. You had to have a bird in your head. Yeah. yeah. The tiger just ripped off my <laughs> sack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, Ed, I'm bleeding from the jugular. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then it takes a dump on him. We could take a, a, a quick break from Anna Nicole Smith. Can we, though? Well, really? we're getting some great audio from her mom. We'll have that soon. But uh, 
We could do news teases. Oh, I like those. They're scary. Uh, and we'll rest the E Rock waxing remixes for a while. Yeah. All right. Heard enough of E Rock. All right. For now, mm -hmm. we'll get back into that later on this morning or tomorrow. Okay. Bill, have you been here for news teases yet? Uh, I don't remember. This bit is made for you. I think he has. And and we've Somebody been goofing on the news it. and the coverage of the Anna Nicole Smith, so this is a pretty good segue right here. Yeah, uh, goofing, uh, joshing, uh, playing around, uh, f f fooleridge. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tom Foolery. <laughs> <laughs> she, she sounds like Tom Brokaw and uh, uh, Tara Reid at the same at time. At the same time. <laughs> at the same time. Oh my God! This guy, I'd be happy to say. <laughs> I can't believe Anna Nicole Smith is dead. It's just shocking. I just seen her the other day. Oh my gosh, you guys! <laughs> what a complete tragedy. How could this have happened? <laughs> Such a beautiful a girl. I saw her spread in penthouse was lovely. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, she's dead. <laughs> I could bring her back to life, Heyman. <laughs> They're all coming out of the woodwork today. I love it. <laughs> all right, news teasers for Bill Burr. News teasers. For Bill Burr. <laughs> We've all seen them. The Good. Korean conflict. They're the quick... They're War like, or police action, you decide. They're the quick news teases to get everyone hooked uh, to watch the news a little longer. All right. They leave you hanging there. And we got a uh, news tease hall of fame. So we get the new ones, and we and we try to see if uh, any of these are worthy of going into the news tease hall of fame. You want to hear some of the hall of fame ones? Absolutely. Just to get you uh, on board here? All right. For example, this. One city wants to pack all their sex offenders into a three-block area. Problem is, it could be right next to your house. See, that's perfect. It's a perfect example because it's it's short. It has horror in it for your children. Oh, the visual of that? Yeah. I just pictured like 20, 40 to 45-year-old white guys running down the street jerking off. Yeah, just. <laughs> Oops. Trench coats for everybody. Just a parade yeah. of trench coats. Yeah. They're just <laughs> running, running down the street. Like grabbing children, like taking right. them into their houses next door, right next door from yours. Like they're at a rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> now that yeah. neighborhood would got to round up kids. That neighborhood would have a situation on their hands. A situation. Yeah. You want to hear another one there, Bill? Of course. Yes, absolutely. Here we go. Now a twist on the predator law could shut down religion. <laughs> <laughs> like that, yeah, yeah. It doesn't make sense. A twist on the predator shut down religion. How is that done? That sounds like a bad pitch for a like a summer movie blockbuster. <laughs> right. And then, who, is Tom Cruise going to be in? That I doesn't just, even I make sense. No, Will Smith. Will Smith. Oh, we didn't do Norbit yet. <laughs> the Lindbergh baby. There's a tragic, uh, ha a tragic bit of news that's just coming in. <laughs> These predator laws have to be stepped up. <laughs> Charles Lindbergh's baby's missing. <laughs> 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 Uh, we got remind us to do Norbit. It's getting uh, just terrific reviews. Join me tomorrow night for my exclusive interview with Amelia Earhart. She should be landing any moment now. <laughs> We're still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another scary news tease. Could frequent hiccups be a sign of cancer? Watch News 8 at 10. Ah! I get the hiccups. Holy <laughs> I got cancer. <laughs> Is that it's frightening? Whatever it is, it's got to be frightening on some level. It's got to be so common that everybody's involved, and they can't give you enough information to then say, "Okay, it can't be me." So that's the criteria, really, for the Hall of Fame. The Predators one was. It's like you or, don't know, or it's something that was good for you. Now it's bad. Now it's can, bad. Can brushing your teeth lead to impotence? Right. Can go. it? Uh, now got to tune in. I, I brush. I got. <laughs> I what, listen to the happened? scary music, too. It's like from Halloween or yeah. something. Could frequent hiccups be a sign of cancer? Watch News 8 at 10. Can frequent hiccups be a sign of cancer? This fall, a new movie. <laughs> hiccups and cancer. <laughs> what the... F what? And finally, this is the, uh, the last one in the Hall of Fame. We only have four to date. Are you normal? Thursday at 11 on News 8. <laughs> that... Is the best one. It's so simple, so vague, so poor, and so black. You know oh, what? I'm in the situation room. I got carried away. Yeah, you did.
I want to write for those guys. That seems like a like you'd just be laughing all day. Yeah. They have to be. Yeah. Trying to come up with that. Stuff. How do you not laugh? Here's the story. Write a, write us a tease. Oh, you got it. But you're gonna get one. All right. <laughs> hey, like you, you know what I do. You know my job. Well, here's the latest batch of scary news teases, and we're still uh, asking for help from you guys from all across America. Yeah, all, all across. Uh, every every news station does it, so send them in. Please send them in. Go to opianthony.com. I don't know. Steve, well, at foundrymusic.com. Go to opianthony.com. There's a web. There's an email on there that uh, of someone that answers their email. Danny. Danny at foundrymusic.com. F-O-U-N-D-R-Y music.com. Coming yes. up in the next half hour, are you the only one hearing my voice? <laughs> <laughs> All right, brand new news teases. We start with this one. A man trying to lure kids into his car. Where he's on the prowl and how he's doing it. Uh, could you maybe just give a state? <laughs> <laughs> like, your how about kids are out there. Yeah, a county. How about a county? Just a county. Give some people the ability to go, Whew. All right, it's not God, us. It's not me. This could be anywhere. He's not working his way towards me. Anywhere in our transmitter range. (laughs) Right. Which pretty much goes hundreds of miles. These bastards. A murder was just committed. Was it one of your family members? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you at work? Someone you know might have been murdered. What? I (laughs) I am at work. Jesus. (laughs) Carol? (laughs) Yeah, let me make a phone call. (laughs) This news tea is brought to you by (laughs) AT&T. Hi, honey. You all okay? (laughs) All right, here we go. The next scary news tease. Kind of cancer that anyone can get. No risk factors whatsoever. What it is and how this new device can detect it. Ah! Anyone can. Can't anyone, anyone get anyone? For the most part. For the most part, it's not like, you know, you're immune to any type. So it's cancer anyone can get. <laughs> Even not get cancer guy. We got Danny here. He helps us out with these news teases. Guy smoking. How bad breath could lead to scurvy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be reporting on that one. Scurvy on our our schooners. Our tune in to our tune in to Larry King. I even talk like a pirate. Our. <laughs> It didn't Dana Reeve have lung cancer? She never smoked a day. Never time. smoked. Yeah, yeah. Woman right. was a saint. All right, Danny's here. Obviously, the device that could cure it isn't someone else's wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, she was wrong <laughs> that enough. <laughs> I think God should have thrown her a bone, don't you think? <laughs> she did. Bone. Cancer. Oh, it was lung cancer. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Danny. Throw her a lung. You send your scary news teases to Danny. He's in studio now. <laughs> Danny at foundrymusic.com. F-O-U-N-D-R-Y music.com. Uh, the first one, man praying on kids where he's doing it. Danny K? Yeah. Who? Danny who? I Gary love Danny K. Coming up next. <laughs> yeah, that one, uh, I, I, if I recall correctly, was your standard, you know, just guy driving around in a car on Long Island somewhere just trying to get kids into his Oh, okay. Great. It's a normal day on Long Island. Yeah, no kidding. Bunch of creeps. And uh, the cancer one is uh, mouth cancer. Oh really? Yeah, and uh, the device that can detect it is some some ultraviolet technology, the dentist? Some kind of wand. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you go to the dentist. Yeah. They put some kind of uh, uh, fluid in your mouth, and then uh, oh, I bet they do. <laughs> and then they take a uh, UV light, and uh, if, uh, if it shines a certain color, then you could have cancer. Or that's frightening. By the way, you didn't <laughs> enter shines a certain color. You didn't evidence. You didn't enter screaming and yelling. We're in the that's situation true. room today. Oh, situation room. Should I go out and come back in? Yeah, right, and right. throw papers and stuff. We got to make it look uh, like yeah, uh, it's got to be disturbing. Like this is a very important radio papers. show today. All right. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wow. There you go. See? That was frightening. <laughs> Thank you, Lenny. We go. might have a situation here. All right. <clears throat> Here's the next scary news tease. Are any of these worthy of the Hall of Fame? By the way, not, uh, really. not yet. The last one was pretty good. Are you normal? Is that great? Scary. Are you Isn't normal? Is that a great one? Here's the next normal. one. Normal. And a health warning if you drink coffee, how just one cup can trigger a heart attack. <laughs> Great. <Who's> most at <laughs> risk. Thanks. Thanks, news lady. <laughs> that pretty much covers 99.9% Who, of yeah. people watching. Who doesn't drink at least <laughs> one cup of coffee a day? Now every sip you're going to be going, is this the sip? Is this the sip is that this does the, it? Is this the sip that just stops my heart? It, somebody had a mouthful of coffee when they heard that news <laughs> taste. And just right. like, spit take. What do I do? Uh, spit take, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> spit takes dangerous to the lips. Oh, Jesus, what do I do? 
And I think that these people should have their news licenses pulled at this point. Yeah. They shouldn't be allowed to do any type of news. This is fear-mongering. Yeah. This has nothing to Blueberry do with the news. Blueberry muffins and ass cancer, the connection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Danny. There's just no justification no. to f make people this scared for what this is. This is really rare occurrences. They're, they're uh, extenuating circumstances around all these. But the, the tease is like... Be afraid, watch us, because yeah. if you don't watch us, you probably will die. <sighs> we got an answer, Danny? Yeah, I believe this was for one of the eight people in America who have that super elusive uh, caffeine allergy. Yeah. So. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's not anyone. It's uh, it's a teeny it's point weeny. zero zero one percent. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a teeny yeah. weeny percentage that you can't even uh, calculate. Teeny weeny, coming up next. <laughs> Is that good enough for the uh, the News Tees Hall of Fame? No. Not really. Okay. No. We'll know it. You know it when you hear it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You go, oh, that's, a, that's one. You don't even have to ask. You yep. just know. All right, here's the next scary News Tees. Coming up, it's out there, but you can't feel it or see it, and it's making women sick. What it is and why it's worse in New York. I, I like that one. I might want that one nominated. That's good. It's yeah. so vague. <laughs> it is so vague. Please tell me it's air. <laughs> it's Please so. Me there's it's no. Air. Play it again because there is not an inkling of information in there that could give you. But you, anything. Keep, you keep feeling like they're going to give it to you. They're going to give me something, right? There. She is not even attempting to it's, help you out. Eventually, it's just going to get to. If you're breathing, you could die. Yeah. We'll tell you more at 11. Listen or die. There's something what? out there. You can't see it, but you can smell it, but it won't be able to taste it. If, why, but wait, if you hear it, <laughs> and then you won't be able to touch it after the break. It sounds like a board game. Can I? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> can you see it in the dark? <laughs> No. Oh, that's one question. Oh, how many questions left? 19 more. Coming 19, up next, okay. it's high in the middle, round on the ends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> is it a state? <laughs> All right, well. A I, state of panic <laughs> gripping the nation. I like that one. Yeah, you like that one? Danny, what's the answer to the invisible monster? Well, you guys are going to be mad because I watched the news from that point on, and I made it all the way to sports. And I never saw anything. They never even... See, now they're throwing teases out and not even covering Maybe the story. I'm wrong. Maybe I missed something, but I, I'm like... Wow. Well, you do drink a lot. I Let, do. Let's be honest. honest. <laughs> so, uh... I could drinking find. and memory loss? <laughs> we'll tell you about it. And he's actually, been known to throw back a few, so... He actually passed out and woke up 24 hours later for the same <laughs> newscast. <laughs> they didn't even bring uh, it up! <laughs> 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 So, uh, yeah, I don't have an answer. Sorry. It's all right. All right, we'll move on to the next one. What's black and white and red all over? Yeah. Answer at 10. What? Could it be you're bleeding on your newspaper? Coming <laughs> <laughs> up at 11. <laughs> Why are New Yorkers bleeding on their newspapers? All right. I'll tell you. I see one. I see two that are going to make the Hall of Fame today. These are getting better as we go. Oh, good. Are you bleeding internally and you're not aware of it? Oh, no. <laughs> Here's uh, the next scary news tease. Would you know how to save your child's life? Find out at 11. From what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Holy mother of God. From what is right? Would you know how to save your child's life? Let's say a car is speeding down on him and you pull him out of the way. That's saving his life. Yeah. Uh, CPR, of course, is the obvious choice. Um not dropping them in the... Putting ocean. locks on your cabinets when they're children so they don't drink bleach? What if your kid has leukemia? Yeah. <laughs> Would you know how to say... Um, yes, I'm keeping it secret. Just for me. I Screw got, society. I got a microscope. I'm looking at slides as, yeah, I'm as you speak. I'm making a Trying smear. to figure this out here. Hmm. Uh, the next one, I, I, uh, I, I haven't even heard it yet, and I, I say this has to go into the uh, News Tees Hall of Fame. Here's the next scary news tease. Could your house be making you fat? Tomorrow, CBS <laughs> 2 News at 5. Brand new inductee, congratulations. You are in. You are in the Hall of Fame. 
We have a new inductee. <laughs> yeah. Can your house be making you fat? Yeah. Well. And what would that be if you bought a house that had oversized door jams so you didn't realize that you were packing on the pound? You were getting so fat, but the doors are so wide, you can still get into the room. Yeah. yeah. Cathedral ceilings. Your house. It was an illusion. Making you fat. I got to think how this is. Okay. This is the only possible logical thing I could come up with. Think. Think, Ant. The think. house is built with the bedroom in the kitchen. <laughs> and and you're right there in arm's reach of the fridge and you're asleep 24 walker. hours a day. Yeah. So you can, as you're sleeping, yeah. still eat and gain weight. Anything else is stupid. <laughs> uh, Danny? Danny is going to tell us. Oh, wait a minute. No. No. This just in. It's a gingerbread house. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote that, Dan? That was Dan. Oh, bravo, Dan. It, it could be. <laughs> I don't know what's more stupid. The gingerbread house, the uh, refrigerator uh, next to the bed, because the bedroom is in the kitchen, because the house is built silly. both. Or whatever this story is. It's got to be stupid. Well, Dan, Danny's going to tell us how your house m could make you fat mm -hmm. after these messages. Oh, no. Stop with your news tease. The pictures of the tiger, the Bengal tigers. Vicious, vicious tigers that I was attacked by are up on opianthony.com. There's also a picture of the heart that was brought in. God, it's been a week of uh, bringing in weird things, huh? Yeah, a little show and tell here on the Opian Anthony show. Go to opianthony.com. Also, uh, we're linked up to the video. Who brought in the heart? Uh, the bodies exhibit. It's a pretty cool exhibit that's down at the Check South Street Seaport. He's probably a serial killer. Yeah, no Mike, you're not going to bring in some more parts for yeah, you. Whatever parts yeah. you need. Not even preserved. <laughs> <laughs> parts. Yeah, there it is. Also, we're linked to the... Plasticized. The cat yelling video. Did you see the cat yelling video when you got home? People are saying, play for Bill Burr. We can't. We'll play it over at XM for you. Okay. Yeah. There's a video on YouTube Very of funny. this just innocent cat up on like a shelf or something. And this guy, you don't see him. Just filming the cat and yelling and screaming at it. His owner just yells at his <laughs> cat. He's like, yeah, what are you staring at? Like, just screaming at the top of his lungs. And the cat's kind of like, it's not really cruel. It's it, it's more funny than cruel. But the cat's kind of looking like, what, why why is this guy yelling at me? What, yeah. What? And he just won't stop screaming <laughs> at the top of his lungs at this cat. The video's up on opianthony.com. It starts out being very funny, and then you get kind of creeped out by the end of it. Like, wow, is this guy for real? What's up with this guy? Because it sounds kind of brilliant. Yeah. It sounds yeah. brilliant, yes. But then uh, the longer it goes on, you start questioning if this guy's okay. But it gets funny again. <laughs> yeah, it does get funny at the you end. You guys realize you just described your radio show. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah true. So I was, hey, this is a really brilliant bit. Yeah, I think that's kind of mean. <laughs> what are mean. they doing? Stop. Right. They have a little kitty. He's going into his closet. He goes, get the F out of my closet. And the cat goes tearing out of the closet all scared. It's just... <laughs> This guy's horrible. But everyone's excited. They want you to hear this, Bill, because okay. they think you would really, really enjoy this. But we can't play it over here. There's a lot oh. of cursing. We'll play it over at XM today. <laughs> nice to see what they think about me. Oh, yeah. 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 Kitties. You know who like, like it? That? All right. <laughs> I, we got a baby uh, seal clubbing video. Uh, Bill's got to see it. You would love it. Blood, <laughs> crying, screaming mother seals. Yeah. Play the baby in the stroller going down the stairs. Oh, hysterical. He'll get, he'll get 20 minutes on it. You know what? We can play for Bill. He hasn't heard it yet. What's that? And, uh, you know, before we get back to scary news teases, why don't we make everyone just a little happier on oh, this Friday? Oh, dear God, On this no. TGIF.
That's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bill's like, what that, the F That was just that? this. They, the mics were on all the time in, in production. you got to understand the brilliance of this. Our, our buddy Drew Boogie yeah. took this sound. So Steve uh, goes into the studio and just starts <laughs> like going, blah, 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 blah. He does this as he walks into the production studio, not knowing the mics are on. And Drew Boogie oh, heard, don't worry, be happy somewhere in there. So he decided to take it and yeah. make that wow. out of just <laughs> this. Feels like All right. You know, I kind of hear, don't worry, be happy now. Just a little bit. Yeah, just there. a little bit. All right, let's get back I to the scary a, news teasers. I hear a frustrated man yeah. trying to stop the voices in his head. <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah, yeah that, a little of that, too. That's pretty accurate, <laughs> actually, Bill Burr, who will be at the punchline in San Francisco in two weeks. Hey, now. From today. All right, <laughs> scary news teasers. We're looking for... Um, Maybe uh, some of these to make it into the News Tees Hall of Fame. What was the? Uh, bring us up to speed now. What was the last one uh, that was played that that brought uh, that is inducted? You don't have that one. Oh, uh, what? The brand new, <laughs> the, the brand new induction. I don't. News Tees I don't Hall remember of fame. this you one. Are you normal? Thursday at eleven on News Eight. No. No. Were, were you talking about something before we went to break? I think so. Yeah. Hey, well, I have a good way to get out of Valentine's Day. How? Oh. This is what you do. You take a can of tuna with some mayonnaise, uh -huh. right? You just leave it out all night. <laughs> Maybe next to a lava lamp or something. Get some good heat action on it. Right. It goes bad. Next morning, you just scarf it down. <laughs> By the time your girl comes home from work, you got food poisoning. You're puking your guts out, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and th then... That, yeah, so you, you're sick for a day. So by the time you get better, it's February 15th. You go to Dwayne Reed, the candy's half off, <laughs> so are the flowers. You got no problem getting dinner reservations. You can go to the best restaurant in town, probably be half off. See, I was confused at first. But it, it, Nobody goes out to dinner yeah. with their girl on February 15th. Not that the next day. It has to be one you're of right. the slowest days it's, of the year. Yeah. I was like, what is wrong? You? I'm thinking you hate your woman, but no, you're just trying to make it a little more convenient. It just, you don't yeah. want to be in a crowded restaurant. You want to save a little money. Yeah. I like it. You get I'm your telling you. reservation. You get cheap Go, go buy a Dwayne Reed on February 15th in those heart-shaped boxes of candy. They're, they're just like, giving them away. They're like for 79 cents. Yeah, you cents. buy Right Guard. They, they throw one at you. Yeah. <laughs> Take this. There get out go. of here. Get this out of our store. Here's <laughs> enough for Easter, for God's sake. Here's a, a box of Brax. <laughs> Brax chocolates. <laughs> Brax. Brax in a heart-shaped box. In the heart box with a red friggin' colored that's, that's gel. On. Nothing says love like Brax. Brax. That's Nothing such a hacky. <laughs> that's such a hacky. Uh, the love is gone from this relationship. Oh, yeah. Uh, gift that literally, if I think if you give that to your girl, she should do like some sort of hacky love making. Yeah. Don't lay there going, oh God, oh don't, stop, don't, no. get, oh. don't get the heart balloon on a big straw. <laughs> oh, the big straw heart balloon that says I love you, whoever you are. Oh yeah, yeah. it's delivered by some guy in a gorilla suit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we're running out of time. We got to get we back are, to the scary, the, the scary news teasers. Uh, this is where we left you. Could your house be making you fat? Tomorrow, oh. CBS 2 News at 5. That's something I was going to ask. Did we ever find out? No, we did not. And this says, this one made the uh, news tease. Yes, fame, that right? is it. Uh, Danny, what is the answer to how, the, how your how house your can make house you fat? Make you fat? Well, there's a few different things that are going on here, uh, one of which is the, the lighting in your house. Apparently, they did a study, and it showed that did. if uh, the the brighter you keep your lights, the less likely you, likely you are to to binge eat. Uh -huh. So if you keep your lights up all the way, all the time, you'll be less likely to. If you live in a pounds. cave like a sloth, you're gonna just pack it in, and if it's keep, bright, you'll see what you're eating. Yeah, and more likely to confess to a murder. <laughs> yeah, one <laughs> that was one bright thing. light bulb over your dining room table, swinging back and forth, and a phone book for your husband to hit you with. Wow, are, are you starting Stop to get eating. these from all over the country? I mean, they trickle in now and again. Yeah. But uh, uh, actually, one of the other things in that house making you fat one was also the colors also. Like, depending on what color your living room is, it might entice you to go to the fridge more, more often than a different color. Oh, God. What a load of Could crap. Could you blame anybody else what for your slop? Right. Psycho babble is that. Oh, boy. E-Rock just heard the news. <laughs> Oh, that's not the one I wanted. He's angry. Yeah, it sounded uh, angry. I, what I wanted was the, the scream where he runs out of air. Oh. That would have been perfect. See, he just heard the news, and then, you, oh, boy, forget it. Here's the next scary <laughs> news tease. I thought I was going to be smart. 
Plus, we'll forget the big bill, the cell phone that could get kids hooked on porn. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. I know you're not going anywhere, people. <laughs> we got, got you smug. with this one. Did you hear how right. smug he sounded? <laughs> yeah. Hey, the uh, phone that could get your kids hooked on porn. <laughs> We'll be back, and so will you. <laughs> Don't even try. You're not. Even, you're hiding the remote, people. Yeah, they're in there. They're in the zone, you know. Yeah, they just know. Listen how they smug. They just know this is a good one. Listen how smug. Plus, forget the big bill, the cell phone that could get kids hooked on porn. We'll be right back. We'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. Oh. God, just, just. <laughs> Don't even. He's frothing, too. He can't wait well, to tell you. I'm back. Yeah. I, oh, I can't the new vagina-shaped Trio 650. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I've been text messaging all day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so that bad news humor. <laughs> is it just one phone? One particular phone? One type of phone? Is it the phone By the way, Bill was mentioning? It? Hall of Fame here or no? Uh, it's 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 kind of funny, but I don't nah, think it's all nah, Amy. Schmaltzy. Uh, yeah, it is. That's, he's trying too hard. It's actually uh, I don't know if you heard of Boost Mobile. Boost. Yeah, yeah it's, like, yeah. it's kind of like prepaid Nextel yeah. service. Well, they offer uh, some racy wallpapers, and that's what hooked they're on to... porn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, is getting some racy oh, wallpaper them, for your phone. Yeah, a few of them are like a few of them have like lingerie. There are a few that are topless. Wow, oh, wow, yeah. God forbid. Come on, here who here hasn't rubbed one out to their cell phone <laughs> or screensaver? Little two by two screen <laughs> squinting. <laughs> Sitting there on the subway. Just <laughs> squinting. <laughs> trying to look. I can't really make out detail. What's this? Like five pixels make up the whole girl. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> That's the same face you have when you look at an Anna and a cold mother. Look how fat she is. <laughs> fat she is. <laughs> she was. I was just being accurate. Yeah. That was complete honesty. So the, these these young actresses are getting at, completely out of hand. I looked over and I'm like, "Who is this actress? That's the little girl from the Willy Wonka movie." No, no crap, the little blonde girl. She grew into her eyes. She looks like she did. She's adorable. She's like a baby tiger. <laughs> she weighs more than Winona Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this is radio. Okay. Uh, is the it? next scary news tease. Damn we forget it, I forget something. that. I'm going to sit there and watch it. Radio. <laughs> well, what else is there? Something that actually transmits pictures? we got to hurry up. You're crazy. we got the best one of the day. What is this, War of the Worlds? <laughs> we got to hurry up. I'm telling you, because some of these <laughs> dumb radio stations cut us off. I and know. And they're going to miss the best uh, right. scary news tease. Let's rock. Out of this batch. Here's the next one. And the ingredients in shampoo that can make a boy develop breasts tonight at 10. <laughs> okay, I like it. Hall of Fame? I think that should be a Hall of Famer. Hall of Fame. Yeah. It's scary. It's a little titillating. It's not the best No one, pun intended. Know, right? no. Man tits by Head and Shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> That's <what you're> <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing of the day, uh, half the people didn't get the Yeah. Email. I'm sorry. Is that that <laughs> T word? That stupid uh, FCC like ruins that humor. I got that one, I'm sure. It's a great fun word. Yeah. That's really funny, Bill. <laughs> and the ingredients in shampoo that can make a boy develop breasts tonight at 10. Mm. Where? <laughs> I think we add that That's to the, the question. <laughs> the News Tees Hall of Fame, yes. Uh, what's the answer there, Danny? Uh, well, this was a story I think earlier this week uh, with some lavender oh, yeah, yeah, oils and right. like tree oils were uh, interfering, <laughs> oils. Yeah, interfering with uh, with some hormones there. Yeah, as they're uh, growing up, I guess, going through puberty. If you're uh -oh. using certain shampoo, mm. I just started uh, using the more, a natural uh, oh, no. <laughs> of mouthwash. I gotta check my pecs here. <laughs> yeah, you better it check that it out. Tastes like tree bark. <laughs> <laughs> I might be doing it. Mm, it this might be doing natural. <laughs> Stop it. I miss Anna Nicole so much. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using a new shampoo, Larry. <laughs> shampoo. <laughs> I use lye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, we could easily do another one. I anymore. love the old Larry King. Yeah, we got uh, we got one more left here. Typhoid fever. <laughs> we'll be talking with Typhoid Mary after this. Clara Lemlick is in studio. <laughs> do you have the consumption? Tune in. We'll tell you. <laughs> Finally, the last scary news tease. 
And supposedly the best of the, the, the whole bunch. Best of the lot. Look at Danny. He's very confident this is going to make the, uh, the Make whole your thing. own flag, Betsy Ross, after this. Hud? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I was just saying it, it has to go in there. It has, it to. has to go in the hole. All right. This could be the third out of this wow. batch. Sex offenders may be in your house. And I love it. <laughs> what is All right. music? That's that's like 1940s NBC uh, music. What? That's the NBC. I think that's that's the music as you look at the other three people in the room. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you take that look around the room. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It ain't me. It's got me one of you two guys. Yeah, really. It is. <laughs> oh. You're married. You got one kid. It's like, oof. Not many possibilities here. Susan B. Anthony, rabble rouser, we're taking your calls. <laughs> calls on what? <laughs> Sex offenders may be in your house. I don't love it. He couldn't even commit to it. He's like, Sex offenders can be in your house. No, right, you can't. It's an old school news guy, like, ah, oh, I gotta read this <sighs> crap. That's gotta make it. Even the distraction of the the what is that instrument? <laughs> Sex offenders may be in your house. A xylophone? Robert Reed's ribs? <laughs> they just <laughs> play. What's, what's the answer? Lionel end? Hampton? <laughs> the answer uh, is yes, they are in your house. Oh, okay. Johnny Light from Maine <laughs> sings his new single for the ladies. <laughs> You'll swoon this evening on the Larry King Show. Wait, what's the answer? Uh, when you have... The computer? No, it's when you have like work done at your house by like a plumber oh, or a... Uh, oh, yeah, sure. You know, the, I, the heating guy comes to read your oh, reader. Oh, okay. You know. So people that come to do work in your house are sex offenders. Could be. Yeah. It could be. It sounds like they are. <laughs> All uh, right, from well, that one. Well, really fast, uh, this makes the Hall of Fame. Sex offenders may be in your house. Maybe. I don't love it. Maybe. Maybe I just not like how he's so cheerful yeah. about it. Yeah, he's like, hey, sex offenders can be in the house. I don't care. I don't have kids. This one made the Hall of Fame today. And the ingredients in shampoo that can make a boy develop breasts tonight at 10. And my favorite. Yeah. Everyone's favorite today. This is a good one. Could your house be making you fat? <laughs> Tomorrow, CBS 2 News at 5. Bravo. Danny, great job. Great job. How, how yeah. did we get a hold of you with the with the scary news tease? Uh, if you have a scary news tease, you can email it to danny at foundrymusic.com, F-O-U-N-D-R-Y music.com. And don't forget to let me know what the answer is to the tease. Yeah, let them know, because we're curious. The ones I find myself, I know. But, yeah. You know, the ones people send in, they don't give you the answer. Yeah. We sit here like, uh, what did that mean? Because then we're doing the same thing the news is doing, right? Mm, yes. I got to tell you, hanging. this show was a lot of fun today. Definitely. The guys behind the scenes were were, were on their game big time. Because it was the Situation Room today. We had the Bengal Tigers. That was awesome. Bill Burke I killed got today. Anthony got mauled. Yeah. Uh, Bill Burr Make is going to be serious. at the Punchline in San Francisco. We're on in San Francisco. Oh, I, good deal. I think about 15 people listen to us on that station. But yeah. we're, we are okay. on in San Francisco. So to everyone listening in San Francisco, Bill Burr, Punchline, February 23rd and 24th. And tune into uh, Uninformed tomorrow night, 9 p.m. to midnight on this station, right? XM202? On XM202, yes. If you're not joining us over at XM, have yourself a great uh, weekend. See you Monday. Yeah, I like Welcome to the second half of the Opie and Anthony Show. Around Why? the clock coverage. They won't stop with it. Unbelievable. Why? Why? This is more coverage than Gerald Ford got. It is. And he was a president. They, it's more Marilyn coverage Monroe than Marilyn Monroe didn't get this much. No. No. Well, you know, it was a while ago. People found out like a week later. <laughs> During newsreels. Oh, okay. <laughs> a bottle with a note that floated up to Massachusetts. Dan, da, dan, da, dan, dan, newsreel. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the... Anna Nicole, then, blah, 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 doctor, blah, 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 blah. doctor performs the autopsy. Everybody's waiting for the fucking autopsy results. How about that doctor when he walks well, in? I gotta admit, her mother is fat. You were right. I was, yeah, I was, I was right. Jesus. How about that doctor that does the autopsy, though? Yeah, who's got, what do we do? You wanna do like, uh, once, twice, three, shoot for it? Who's gonna do it? Cause then they, you know. They unzip the bag and look in and go, ah, look, I'm getting to see her. We should all, all make just it. play roulette. 
I, I was got, saying that you know I, a, a, I'm going to put a hundred down on uh, heroin and uh, I'll just throw twenty on Valium. Yeah, and uh, coke, a little on coke. Uh, maybe a little on. Uh, so I got a little extra. Bet. Yeah, ten dollars on coke. What the hell? But uh, the, you know he's the, the one guy that does it is the guy that and they're used to seeing dead people so it's a whole other thing for them. Dude. But he gets to see her like sprawled out there. I know. You, oh, you figure, he lives in Florida. Most of them are, are just decrepitly yeah, old, old people. Tan, wrinkled up it's dead people. It's the legendary uh, coroner that's doing the autopsy. No way. And he was explaining what he's going to do. It's that creepy guy that just loves talking about Not the about HBO death. guy. I think so, yeah. Uh, do, do we have MSNBC tape from yesterday? They talked to him, that creepy coroner, and he's just explaining love that in guy. detail what they're going to do with her body. His name. And then we're going to... We're going to... Bodden? Uh, I think so. Dr. Yeah, something like that. Something Baden. If you could find it from MSNBC, it was around uh, oh, six ish. You see those, those, those hedge clippers they used to crack open the rib cage? Because uh, it's like. Dude, the guy was explaining all that. And then we'll dissect the heart into 17 slices. And then. It was, oh, oh, it was, it was just disgusting. Uh, then we'll cut out a brain. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Will you? Oh, fuck, you're a creepy guy. We still got lots of show to do. We're going to start with the cat yelling guy for Bill Burr. Oh, oh good. Look at that right away. The video nice. is linked on opianthony.com. It's a YouTube sensation. Yeah, it's one of those YouTube, uh, big YouTube videos, and uh, it's just a guy in his house. He's got a couple of cats, I believe, and he's yelling at them like they're, like he's an abusive husband, and it's his wife. This is the scene out of The Godfather when look, uh, when Carlo is yelling at Talia Shire, <laughs> now clean it up, be a murderer like your father. This is what this guy's doing to like his cats, and his cats don't understand it. I refuse big to eyed. make this be creepy. This is this sounds hilarious. It, it is, is funny. funny. The guy's out of his mind. When you see the long form video, though, it gets a little creepy at times. But it's funny. But it is funny. Uh, someone's clearing something up for us. Joe DiMaggio died at the same hospital. It's not called Joe DiMaggio Hospital. No, we're calling it Joe DiMaggio Hospital, and we don't care if he died there. Yeah, Michael Bowden. Thank you, uh, Michael Jeremy. Bowden. We're trying to get the uh, the piece he did on MSNBC last night. It's it's downright creepy how how much into death this guy is. He loves it. He loves the death. Can't get enough of the I death. He loves the dying. We're gonna massage the liver. <laughs> right. Yeah. With my scrotum. Then we're gonna rip it out, and I'm gonna take a few bites out of it. <laughs> get the fuck down! <laughs> Fucking jump! Jump! Get the fuck down from there! <laughs> Fucking jump! Jump! That's petrified, just standing there. Do it, you bitch! Do it! Let me see the other. Jump! Jump! Do it! You fucking pussy! Jump! Is that Tom Sizemore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there he is on, on his perch, and then the cat's like, doesn't know what to do. The cat do. doesn't want to jump down. It's too high up. He's just being a cat. The cat just knows it has to move. That's all it knows. <laughs> it's like, he doesn't know he's from, supposed to jump. He just knows he has to leave that spot. Where's more? Look at me. Look at me. Up here. Up here. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> Don't fucking run away from me! I'll end you! Where'd you fucking go? I'll end you. You son of a bitch! <laughs> fuck! Don't fucking go in my closet! <laughs> And you see him go in the closet, and he yells, and the cat comes tearing out of the closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's, what an asshole this guy is. Still funny or creepy? It's though. hilarious. <laughs> it is, right? Look, don't go in my closet. Right, here is video, yeah. yeah. And then uh, he comes like, oh, okay, I'm running away. <laughs> I'm you're running. Where the hell can I go? crazy. The guy just yells at me all day. You are a fucking piece of shit! <laughs> I'm going to rape you! Fuck you! Run! Fucking run! Yeah! <laughs> you know that's probably like his girlfriend's cat. She's at work. He's oh, at work. Oh, yeah, and he's just fucking pounding it. 
poor thing. She comes home, he's acting like, yeah, yeah, I couldn't find a job again today. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I played with the cat. Why is your voice so raspy? Ah, it's just not a very exciting game. A lot of job interviews I went on, uh, just talking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't yelling at the Don't cat. Don't fucking stare at me! <laughs> That's what cats do. You fucking bitch! <laughs> I think that's all we got today. He's great. Yelling, yelling cat guy. Be a great cell phone ringtone. Maniac. It's up on YouTube and the uh, video is up on opianthony.com. All right. We got Anna Nicole Smith's mom. We got uh, Nintendo DS's tool for sexual predators. What? Yeah, we should play this. We just uh, Tool? Oh, we just ended with the news teaser, so this is like kind of an extension of that. Yeah. Nintendo DS. Okay. Is that portable? Kids can't put it down. It has lots of graphics. And who can blame them? It's extremely fun. The thing's a blast. Oh, awesome. But what makes Nintendo DS different from other handheld game devices... It's got dual screens, so hence the name Nintendo DS to a babies. That's right. Two screens. You can play Game Boy and Nintendo DS games on it. And what's even more, friends like Marissa and Melanie can play against each other, even if they're in different cars. We were several car lengths apart, and sure enough, they were playing the game together. That's because the Nintendo DS units seek out other DS units to play with. Well, stop the music. Because it's also redefining how vulnerable your kids are to child molesters. <laughs> uh, whoa. Wow. Hey, wow. We, were, we were just having fun. What happened? Well, the music was nice. We were driving. We were playing. And then all of a sudden, I got a dick in my ass. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> You know what? That's how it happens. That's right. Yeah, that's the new, hey, kid, you want some candy? Right. The new thing You're is playing. you play video games. This is the greatest game ever. Ow! My ass! What the fuck? So it all ends up all ends up with a dick in your ass. With a dick in your ass. You're playing games. You're having fun. I'll never get that Nintendo game. Yeah. No. Stick to PSP. <sighs> <laughs> or computer gaming. PSP, great games and no anal rape. Right, that's how they should present it. <laughs> they just have a picture of a dick going into an ass with the line through it. Yeah, the red <laughs> circle and line through it. How did it sell with the parents? You see, along with the game capability, yeah. Nintendo DS comes with a feature called PictoChat. You can chat with your friends. Kids know what it is. You can talk to other people from a uh, long distance. I picked the channel with my neighbor. Problem is, parents don't. You know, I don't see that piece advertised on commercials. No. Let me explain. You open the DS unit, you turn it on, put you push PictoChat, and your DS unit is an open book. Anyone can write your child messages, send them sketches, anyone who has a DS unit. It's that simple. The fact that someone could possibly communicate with him without me knowing hadn't crossed my mind. Let me explain. You turn it on, you send a message, dick in his ass. That's how it works. And, and that's it. People just uh, will send your kid horrible messages. What are the... Um, I, I'm not exactly positive on the capabilities of this uh, little device. I'm a PSP guy. I know how that works. Uh, I know I can get on my wireless network at home with it. Are they talking about a Wi-Fi or are they talking about system-to-system -system communication? Like, can you get on some type of online uh, uh, server with that? Or can the systems just talk to each other if you're close enough? No, it all, it all matters that if you're close enough. Okay. So if you're close enough and a sexual predator has So you need these. to be near a sexual predator right. that has a, a Nintendo DS. Right. He can't be 100 miles away on his computer or uh, 100 miles away on, on on a DS. How close does a sexual predator have to be if you're uh, playing that right now? Personally, I've checked these this Picto chat. I've never seen anyone in chat room A on it. through D. Get on Picto chat. Oh, you've never seen anyone in the actual yeah, chat it, room. It shows 0 through 16. Yeah, you're Mr. Sexual Predator room. just waiting and waiting. One guy in there. to yourself. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, two guys. It's like, hi, how old are you? I'm 40. <laughs> I'm waiting, too. <laughs> Get in your own fucking room. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Like, like when you first become a sexual predator. You don't know how to go about it. <laughs> like, oh, well, maybe I'll the try newbie. this. This isn't working out. Listen, Listen noob. 
And you meet like the headlining uh, pedophile. You got to go to the playgrounds. Dude, you don't even know where to go. Yeah, man. Start with the playground. You're walking around fucking <laughs> Wall Street with, with your head. Lose your head. Go to the zoo, for Christ's sake. Go to where the kids are, you idiots. Library. <laughs> Everyone knows. Join the circus. Dress like a clown. Do I got to spell it out for you? <laughs> it's so fucking easy. Kitty party. <laughs> Mom's too busy getting the cake ready in the kitchen. And Look for houses. And you have free with reign balloons. with the kid in the backyard. Yeah. Balloons in the backyard <laughs> and a party going on because they'll probably be given mm. this as a gift or some of the kids will have it. And you can get on the picto jet. And what I like to do is draw pictures of my cock and send them over. <laughs> uh, people, uh, the kids write back and say, what's this? Because I'm not a very good artist. And he well, can't send pictures. Well, I make it look like a giraffe at first, just to, just exactly. to get him hooked. He just drew a dick on the picto chat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> send it. Please send that and get send arrested. It. Yeah, I, There's no one in the I room. I send it to myself. For the love of God, get a unicycle. It's mm -hmm. the pedophile's Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> It is a kid magnet. Right. Ah, kids are fascinated by him. <laughs> you want to go for a ride? There's only one seat. Hop on. on. Files Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Let me see that little gizmo. <laughs> now, you've drawn three dicks. Now, you're in a room. D right technically. Now, technically, right now, I'm in a chat room. If somebody if up anyone here, here had, had one a DS... They could join this chat room. And you can then send this. Right, I could send but them technically anything. That looks like a makeup case. Yeah, it really does, right? This is the lamest fucking oh, it's thing. Awful. You know, I had one of those. That and should I be one of those little powder things comes out of it. No, I, I, makeup! I got money for it. I, went, I just sent I got a game for it. it. I, I hated that stupid really? thing. Nintendo DS. I'm going to write, fuck you, and then send. There you go. Yes. I don't know. If someone's in the room, they can see it. No one's in the room. Hello? Hello? And there's a little signal thing up here, but like you said, are you sure? This can't even go over the fucking internet. No, you can't go on the internet. That's okay. Nintendo's uh, PS... PS... Uh, oh. P? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is just not a video gamer. It, well, uh, neither are people that buy that. We got more to the story here. <laughs> more to the story. Here's an example of what can happen. With Melanie and Marissa upstairs in the bedroom, I was downstairs Ooh, sending them messages. What's your dog's name? What's your name? Where do you go to school? Where I'm you in your live? house. Marissa's How about that fucking one? Yeah. I'm in your fucking house. Hi. The pedophile has to get in your house first. After that, I don't care if he's fucking doing the dishes. I want him out. <laughs> School. Where do you live? Marissa's mom was watching as Melanie and Marissa answered my questions, and she didn't like what she saw. Especially when I saw Melanie write an address. Plus two, four, five. Granted, the girls knew it was me sending the messages, but they gave it out over the TV before. Damn. If that wasn't advertising for for sexual predators, there's an easy one at 245. If you're a pedophile, become a newsman. You'll gain access to young children, their houses, and the trust of their mother. <laughs> You'll get a microphone, and people will trust you. And I could send pornographic messages to young children right in their house in front of their mother. Un what a gig. Under the disguise of doing a news story. I went upstairs and removed the clothing from the children. What the fuck is this guy doing? He's in the house. How dangerous could that be? This is a needle in a haystack situation. Well, here's another ridiculous scenario. And remember Marissa chatting with her friend in the yeah, other car? Yeah, watching her on that top means a molester driving along could see your child in <laughs> oh, the back that seat and start sending messages while you're in the front seat, totally oblivious to what's happening. Will you stop okay. scaring parents out there? Pedophile. Pedophile sees your kid with a DS and starts following the car and starts chatting. following the car. So he's got to drive and follow, or does he get a friend that knows he's a pedophile? Yeah, and wouldn't your kid have to be driving the car <laughs> to actually truly be in danger? I mean, you're there. Right. You're there. All right. What's he going to drive chatting. by with his dick out the window? Maybe Here. get a little jizz on the side of your fucking... Here's a uh, little car fat toy. Funny. Huh? <laughs> I couldn't go with Pinto again. I always say Pinto. Here's a little factoid okay. on the system, the range, mm -hmm. 30 to 100 feet. Oh, so Jesus. I guess uh, 100 feet story. under optimum conditions, 30 feet. Your your child has to be within 30 feet or 100 feet at most of a predator that you know has what? a DS. I'm actually going to say that, that is that story is absolutely shameless. There's no way adults can sit there in a room and not... 
know that that's completely complete horseshit. It's going, yeah. And what about all the sexual predators out there? They just got another idea. They're not going to do it. Even they know. They don't want to get caught. What are the odds? That, that, like, that, that, that is a cry for help. Mm, I, it, you need to you need to catch me if you actually use this is a, a fucking... Uh, I'm 30 feet away from yeah. you. This is How hack. The fuck? Yeah, this, this is, is hack. hack. When it comes to sexual predators. <laughs> Come on. In the back seat and start sending messages while you're in the front seat, totally oblivious to what's happening. Nintendo is well aware of the risk. Both the owner's manual and the company's website warn parents about PictoChat and recommend talking to your kids about what to do if they get a message from someone they don't know. Brenda and Chantel are both great moms, but like most parents, they didn't think to read the owner's manual for their child's game. I, I hadn't thought about that. I just thought it was kind of like an advanced uh, Game Boy. Sit down, read the, the manual, the instructions. Joel Dine with Glendale Police says the problem is parents don't realize Nintendo DS is more than just a game device. It's a, a communication tool. It's not just a visual tool. So now, Next Michael, walkie, Marissa, talkie, and Melanie know exactly what to do if a stranger tries to pick their chat them. I'd sign off. I'd say bar and I'll turn it off. What was the question? What would you do if you saw a cock on there, kid? <laughs> yeah, how did they ask him? <laughs> yeah, how do you, you know? You, you can't say about anything cock? graphic. <laughs> what, do you say, what would you do if, if something was written on there that um, from a stranger? Well, what do you mean? What if it's another kid? Okay. Well, stranger no kid. that has hair around his genitals. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Just answer the question. We need a sound bite. <laughs> And Answer slowly and lick your lips. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you what he might draw. <laughs> he might draw one of one of following <laughs> these. Right. Hey, mommy. Just as I suspected, <laughs> it is scary for the child. Ma'am, relax. We're just we're just acting. This is the just news. playing. The news. It's okay, I'm a newsman. I'm a newsman. I'm allowed to do anything to your children because I'm a news guy. What a dumb, worthless, nothing story. There is no danger there. I defy you to find one child that has had one inappropriate message sent by a stranger. You know what? I bet, that, I bet there those. are a lot of pedophiles in uh, journalists. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to wear, like, the raincoat anyway, so it's like a good disguise. Put that a trench good, coat uh, around and just, yeah. <laughs> a good Clark Kent. Fuck it. What would a child say if I opened my trench coat and was naked? Let's try and find out. <laughs> Conference there later this afternoon. That was as specific as they got after this autopsy is completed. So we will continue to monitor. Here's, her way. Uh, Here's a visual for you. Florida Remember that hot piece of ass, Anna Nicole Smith? Well, they're we cutting speak. into her body as we speak. She's being minced at this moment. And a staple on magazine covers for the headline she well, made. They're going to need a few People more staples are later right down in the midsection. Death as they were about her life. Jill Dobson is news and style editor at large with Star Magazine. Good at morning, large. Jill. Good morning. And I know every entertainment She's reporter uh, out there is working Put their sources the today face. trying to find out uh, something that the others don't know. What have you been able to uncover in terms of, of what happened over Nothing. the past 24 hours? Well, we've been able to find out that there, again, are reports that there might have been drugs in the room, a combination of reports that it was illegal drugs no. or prescription she drugs. Said no, and we also that. understand Nothing. that Anna Nicole died at a time when there was someone in the room with her. It looked like it was a private nurse that was there and that Howard K. Stern was in Florida with her mm -hmm. when she was there visiting the Hard Rock Hotel in Hollywood, Florida. Obviously, so nothing, uh, Anna Nicole Smith nothing new. Has, is, has taken on many titles. She was Playboy Playman of the Year. Um, she obviously was a uh, billionaire's wife and then widow. Uh, people have also been fascinated with her. Thing. I was just talking about uh, there's uh, many like behind-the-scenes types of shows about her that truly are incredible because she does have that rags-to-riches story. Uh, and unfortunately now with that tragic end, what, what do you think it was about Anna Nicole that fascinated so many people? She, she wasn't known for any one particular talent. Right, exactly. And those of us who've been reporting on her in the past few days have had trouble defining her because she had so many different titles and wore a lot of different hats. I think the most fascinating thing about Anna was the combination of beauty and... <laughs> That's you know, you know exactly funny? how it should happen, too. <laughs> right. That just was like just faded <laughs> out. But that was like eerie. That's like how like the I think that this world is going to end. 
<laughs> it's just going to end just like that. And just, everyone's with just, just going to slowly... Bab- uh, just a fade out. With yeah, just God, some kind God. of unimportant babble going on, and God... Just right. hits mute, just slowly just turns down the volume. We all just kind of... That's how... Uh, this is how old people die. They're just watching TV by it's themselves. Just a year ago, you know, Anna Nicole Smith goes to the Supreme Court. Who would ever think you would see something like if that? Take your would pill? you say she was a self-made star? She really was, and she was also a master of reinvention. Okay, I like it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. If you ever wondered, that's how an old person dies at home watching TV. That would be a great you death. Just slowly fade out. Yeah, just I would fade I'd out. take that. You think part of your body's going? Wait, wait! I just want to hear the end of the like, story. Take, hey, wait! Just, I just. The, what was she saying? It was something about her personality and oh, what God. she. And then achieved the heights of fame and fortune. But throughout it all, she was always a very lonely person, very sad on the inside. Which Grandma? Is really unfortunate. All right. Jill Dobson. Well, the Thank fucking guy doing the autopsy is going to see how sad she is if she was sad on the inside. <laughs> 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 Ah, there's something going on in Jerusalem. Ah, whatever. <laughs> That's the next story. You know what amazing uh, Nicole me? Smith sent yeah. into Jerusalem. They're blowing up, uh, you know. There were just religious uh, sites. Great. Hundreds of people blown to bits in Baghdad the other day. And, you know, you barely saw any of it on the news. It was a, a, a two-minute story. Because they're far away and they're, like, not blonde with big tits. Let's see what Anna Nicole Smith's mom had to say. Now, remember that they hated each other. Or Did Anna, they hate each other? Well, Anna just thought her mom was just... A dick. A dick. And was looking for fame herself. And uh, they didn't have a, a good relationship for many, 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 right. many, many years. Plus, maybe she saw what she was going to look like later on in life. <laughs> and just wanted to try yeah. to avoid that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to look... Uh, here's my future. My memory of her... <laughs> Even she's doing drugs. My memory of her is of sucking snot sounds. Hold a minute, I need a line here before I continue. Yeah. She just did a My bump. memory of her. Oh, all right. Well, I obviously need that sound. Well, that's there's hell. the sound effect we need. Oh, there's the memory. My memory of her is of doing coke, obviously. <laughs> that is some snort. Watch how it gets funnier and funnier, by the way. This is where our talent shines. Uh-huh. My memory of her. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's a memory for you. There's an explosive. <laughs> How's that horrible? <clears throat> My memory of her. <laughs> been starting a lawnmower. Ah, uh, yeah. Sounds like she farted. Yeah. My memory of her. I have a lot of memories of her. She was uh, she was just wild and free. Did you ever imagine that something like this might happen to her? No. Yes, I told her so. I told her even on uh, Not in this I think tone, I was on Nancy Grace her. when uh, Daniel died. I told her then. I said, Vicky, be very careful, baby, who you hang Vicky? with, because she might Whose be next, is and now she's next. You know what's funny is like some woman how named Vicky. That's after what? somebody's oh. die, after somebody dies, they romanticize their lifestyle. Like when they're alive, like you fucking drunk whore, would you get your shit together? <laughs> right. Five minutes later, she was just wild and free. wild and wild free, and, and I just, tried to tell her she was a free spirit, free spirit, very independent. Uh, just very impulsive. She look you wanted whore. to experience everything that life had to give. Yeah. <laughs> She was the type of person that would just try anything at least once and very trusting. Yes. That means you fucked a lot of people. Very trusting. You fucked a lot and did drugs a lot. <laughs> you fucking drug addicted whore bitch, get out. Not not while you live under my roof. You don't have a cock in your mouth, it's a pipe. <laughs> For the love of God, get your shit together. That was her 20, nice way of telling her. You're hours. embarrassing your mother. I told her after the hours sun died. Later. Yeah. I she told was, her. She was like a uh, she was like a butterfly, just dancing from <laughs> thing to thing. It's amazing. She's finally at peace. So many transitions and changes took place in her life. Yeah, cock, drugs, back to cock. 
and I tried to warn her about drugs and the people that she hung around and um, she didn't listen. You think she had a lot of pain, especially after the loss of her son and all of the attention? No, uh, so honestly, happy. no, I don't think. I'm yeah. thinking happiness, now joy, that you, uh, Now cheer. that your daughter died, can we bring up her dead son? Yeah. That was more like a Mardi Gras. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we just celebrated. We just partied. and She loved the fact that she didn't have another mouth to feed. <laughs> right. It was great for her. I, lo I love questions like that, those dumb she, Was she questions. sad on the yeah, inside? Yeah. The make, make her cry questions? Yeah. Who's, uh, what, who is, what is uh, going on? Who's Studio the audience? drummer from Coldplay just walked in. What's, uh, who's, who's, <laughs> who's, who's, any, um, what, who are you? Thumbs up to you. He's a thumbs up guy. It's, uh, Connie Chung just walked in. He's got a pea, pea coat on. All right. It's a pea coat. I guess. Why are you looking at me? I didn't say it. I guess the, I guess <laughs> Bill Burr. Fans of the show. Bill yeah, Burr. that's fine. Oh, they can hear us? Yeah. I yeah. met three lovely people. Of course. Who are you? I got tagged for your fucking line. Fans of the show. Oh, all right. Ah. Two dollar days. What? The, from the two dollar days. Okay. Oh, way back. Okay. Who's when the broad? Girlfriend. The old one. And my mom. Oh, that. Oh. Well, I didn't say anything. He <laughs> said it. Jesus. I you know what is my fucking head. They can't see my mouth moving. So yeah, so you they guys. think it's us. <laughs> Don't say Bill anything else. Burr. They're staring at me, Bill. Bill Burr. Bill Burr said that. He's going to be at the Punchline in San Francisco in two weeks. So you go there and you give him a piece of your mind. Fuck Mom. all three of you. Anthony. I didn't say that. It's him. I didn't say it. They're looking at me. I swear they're looking at me. I'll, I'll, I will say this. How stupid can you people be? It's him talking. Look at the room. Look who's talking. I'm on your side. Don't chastise me because I'm not saying anything. Hi. Neither so, am I. So are you uh, a fan of the show? I or am. Really? Up. Yeah. thought your husband just... Is that husband? No. no. Boyfriend? No. No? <laughs> Ew. The fuck are you... What's your, what's your problem? Oh, you guys just bang? What do you do? Oh, yeah. 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 That's it. All right, look. We're really good, but we can't make anything out of this. Just turn that no. mic off. Just Jesus. sit on the couch. Enjoy the just view. Just enjoy. Some people are meant to be watchers. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. You think she had a lot of pain, especially after the loss of her son and all of the attention surrounding her new child and the father's. Do you think it was just too much for your daughter to take? I think it had something to do with it, but uh, she she was too drugged up. Uh, the last interview I saw of her, she was so wasted. It. Did you ever try to help her? I tried. Yeah. No, sir. I never did. I tried. Yeah, didn't but, care. Um, the people she was around wouldn't let, you know, us get close to her, let any of us uh, around her talk to her. But she shouldn't be dead. She should be still alive to raise her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about that? Daughter's better off. How does that happen when you get to that level of fame that you have handlers that your own family members can't get can't around? Can't get to you. He's just weird. Why are you looking for those people? I'm her mother. Can, hey. I, can I get a few of those? Yeah. <laughs> uh, who's this? <laughs> I'm her yeah. own mother. Some guy, uh, big guy. Yeah. Stand back, ma'am. Yeah. I need yeah, to protect uh, but her. I just want to talk to her. She came out of my twat, for Christ's sake. <laughs> How many more credentials do I need? Can I speak to Vicky, I'm sorry, please? Me. You can't come in there. <laughs> no. No. Can I speak to Vicky, please? It's, it's her mother. I just want to say that... She's not here. Look, we gotta go. Look, click. <laughs> Listen, what do you think your daughter's? Huh? Your daughter's a cash cow. We're keeping her drugged up. We're riding this thing into the sunset. Yeah, we're keeping you at arm's distance. You'll comment when she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think your daughter's legacy should be seen as, Ms. Arthur? Ms. Arthur. Um. Well, she didn't come from a small town. <laughs> As she said, she did. She she told me that. I said, why do you tell that story that you come from a small town? You're born in Houston, middle class family. Why do you tell that story? She says, Mom, nobody wants to read books or or see people on TV concerning you know middle class girl found a rich millionaire and married. And there's not a story in that. She said the story is I come from rags to riches, and so that's what I'm going to tell. Cause I got upset with one. Time. I said, Vicky, why do you tell such stuff like that? She says, no, Mom, if it. my name is out there in the news, good or bad, doesn't mm -hmm. matter, good or bad, I make money. Well, so I'm going to do whatever it takes. Well, now and I can she see did. why. <laughs> 
Now I can see why that she they, she kept her at arm's distance. She was spilling the beans. It's all a character. Yeah. yeah. She had a wonderful childhood. Ma, if you don't shut up. Yeah. The God. mother doesn't want to look bad now, so she's just Mom like, Mom seems hey. real distraught, huh? Ah, we were, but, well, kids, God, kids we, we not even, up. Anna Nicole Smith's not even 12 hours dead, and she's on uh, TV just, yeah, just de- having a chat. Defending her parenting, too. Yeah, just having a hey. chat. She grew up in a middle-class family in Houston. It was wonderful. What's the problem? Rags to riches? No, she, you know, had everything. It was a great mother. Do That's we, why she left to fucking spread her pussy apart in magazines. Do we have no, uh, Do we have more <laughs> audio from the mother? I, I hope so. I think we have an exclusive on your machine there. Damn. This Keep rustling the paper so they know it's breaking news. Uh, um, it's over there, Aunt. The reporter that's... Um, Exclusive audio from Anna Nicole's... What? I don't put this on here yet. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah. yeah. You played that one. No, we got we got this one. This is from um, uh, one of the newsmen that are upset that he's got to do the story right before he went on the air. Goddamn rich cunt! Yeah, but... Oh, and then he implicates himself. I kill rich cunt! She's a low down, no good. Slut yeah, that, that would have um, been a good one. But that's over there. That's the uh, other one. Yeah. Oh well. Well, let me just put this aside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll be back. Uh, wow. We're just sitting here talking about Nancy Pelosi's uh, hairdo. I had Nancy Pelosi, new Speaker of the House. Yeah. She got one of these air scoop. Ram air injected fucking. She has an extreme hairdo. sport cowlick. Yeah, yeah. Tony Hawk is looking to yeah. do a few, <laughs> a few runs on her hair. <laughs> it has that perfect swoop. It's a big swoop with like a tunnel yeah. that runs into the front. Kind of looks like uh, uh, like at the uh, roof from the Jetsons. Yeah, right. Futuristic uh, roof. Uh, futuristic or like those uh, those ni- roof. those 1960s airport hangers when they right. were trying to. Be, we're going to be living on the moon someday. Yeah, they're yeah, trying yeah. to get us used to that with the, yeah, yeah. the architecture. <laughs> uh, she's just a kook. Well, we got breaking news. Uh-oh. Yes. If you go, the site's going to get slammed, but if you go to opianthony.com, we just watched a video of them pumping the hell out of Anna Nicole Smith's uh, chest. Yeah, everything's this on This is the now. footage that was sold to Splash, is it? Yeah. For $500,000. Well, they sold it. Who sold it to who, Steve? And, and, is it up there? Here, Steve. He'll tell you all about it. I'll tell you everything you need to know. With the final answer. With Steve, please. The ambulance was a hybrid. That's right. Uh, it took so long to get them up to 60 miles an hour. Exactly. She was already dead by that time. Oh, you knew. All right, I'm going. Um, <laughs> Splash that, News. That's terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah. Splash News. Take the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's wrong. Just stay in the living room. I'll handle it. What are you doing in my house? All right, Steve, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. Um, Splash News recorded the footage of Anna getting wheeled out of the hotel on a gurney and getting her uh, chest pumped by the EMTs, and that's what sold for half a million dollars. Half a million dollars. Look half at that. And that's the footage that we just linked uh, up on. Uh, and we can't play the audio because it's in German. It's in German. The U.S. rights, I think, were sold to entertainment. Yeah, das chicken is good. <laughs> yeah, fucking chicken. But wow, you know all those fake things that they have on YouTube? This would be a good thing to fake. Yeah. Sell it, make a quarter oh. million. Throw it on YouTube uh, with, uh, oh, we know what to do. Get some Opie and Anthony hits today. Oh, uh, yeah. Oof. What? Don't you get in trouble? No. Do you get in There's trouble? No trouble on YouTube. Who has gotten in trouble on YouTube? Right. No, I probably. mean real trouble. Not, no, not having tell them to remove What could it. possibly make happen? Make an account. No, 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 How about no, you could, you could. the video is something like uh, Anna Nicole Smith dead in hotel. They click on the video and then it says... Pawned by Opie and Anthony. No. Pawned. Pawned. I mean, p- pawned. Queen. Queen. <laughs> Bishop. 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 Yeah. What? What oh, you do? Make an, one account. Make a single account. Mm-hmm. Just and throw just that video up uh, on it. I'm sure no Philip Opie and Anthony. On it yeah, just throw it on. 
And who gets in trouble? Everyone thinks that fucking internet police. The internet police. There's no internet police. People send like a cease and desist, or they'll right. yank or the they'll fucking yank the video, video. That's kind of what I would uh, and make too. it so you can't fucking post under that name anymore. Ooh, Don't why is own spelled with a P now? Um, you're not Leet. Yeah, you're yeah. not Leet. Lee you don't speak. understand. It's Leet speak. It's old Leet speak. I don't know speak. what that is. It's classic Leet speak. Yeah. What is Leet? Leet. L. It's L. No, it's actually. Uh, it's actually. It's like actually a seven, seven three three three. three. You could throw a T on there, or an, uh, you know, there's a few ways to spell I it. I don't know what you're talking about. I know. Is this when you spelled like hell on your calculator? <laughs> yeah, that what you're sort of. Kind of. Just some sort They're of very much, similar. Yeah. <laughs> I think it started with hell on your calculator. Okay. Uh, it, when Fast forward a couple <laughs> decades, it's now a whole. When you're playing world. video games, <laughs> yeah. in the text, oh, you okay. never just type like you know. Oh boy, I shot you in the head and you went down hard. Uh huh. It's you know, you were pwned. You were you know. I love how he can't really even explain you're a, it. You're 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 fucking. Uh, you're not getting laid. You're sitting on a couch. You're yeah. playing asteroids. <laughs> right. I get it. I get asteroids. it. Asteroids. Okay, I got it. I got it. What year uh, is this? <laughs> All right. Asteroids are up next on the asteroids. <laughs> the newest craze in video games. Pac-Man. <laughs> Sexual predators using asteroids to get to your kids. I'll, I'll be playing you. the new hit song Pac-Man Fever while I play Pac-Man. <laughs> Sweeping the nation. <laughs> Disco duck when we get back. Video games. I'll take on anybody and play Pong. <laughs> Tell Steve, don't worry. I'm sure the fans are already working on it I'm for us. I'm so worried. One of the ONA pests will do the job for us, so you, you can stay out of it. But the video of her chest getting uh, pumped is up on opianthony.com right now as we speak, okay? Yeah, everything's available on the internet. We got some uh, E-Rock remixes. New ones. New ones. Thank God. We'll bring uh, Bill Burr up to speed. <laughs> we kind of did... It's up to speed. kind of did a oh. hack bit this week, Bill. <laughs> E-Rock got waxed. Okay. Uh, we wanted to wax his asshole, but he was too smooth down there. So we started waxing his chest. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I just pictured his asshole. <laughs> All smooth. Hot, right? Ugh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Should it be like a little guinea pig asshole? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. I don't know why. Hot, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it was it's supposed to be a Brazilian bikini wax, which is like the whole asshole and front area and everything's supposed to be ripped out. And we're going to bleach his asshole, too. But apparently he was... Uh, <laughs> yeah, to get that brown eye gone. Just make everything pink back there. Because that'll make it better. <laughs> pink is a newborn girl's baby booties. Uh, bleaching, bleaching will make it better. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh fuck. I, I'm just... <laughs> Getting disgusted. That's here. what we need to do. Bleach it. So uh, it'll taste just like candy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Why are you talking about that? Ugh. Hot, right, Bill? Hot, right? <laughs> and what were the ideas that day that you threw out? <laughs> you never throw out an idea. Uh, well, he didn't have enough hair. Let, needless to say, He's now a smooth boy. Yeah, oh dear, smooth boy. So uh, it was decided to start waxing and ripping the hairs out of his chest, which he really fucking screamed in pain at, which was just great. Okay. And then uh, he, we were trying to think, where else does he have hair? Of course, the armpits. They put wax that be, it's not even like wax. It's fucking like honey wax, they call yeah, it. Real it's sticky. very sticky shit. Put it under his armpits and ripped out his armpit hairs. And the sound he makes is... is Priceless. It's just pure pain. Don't okay. forget to tell Bill how we uh, sticked his asshole together. Yeah. So, uh, we made his asshole why, why very keep, sticky. Why, why keep going back to that? <laughs> well, put it this way. We, he, we, What's it, funny is you, ne you, hot, never, right? you never even did the bit. You could have just said you did the chest hair. You know. Oh, no. You the oh, no, it, it, we did. We, we, we see, when a bit up fails, his asshole, Bill. we have uh, contingency plans. So when, when we realized, when the girl ripped off the, the piece of paper... And nothing really came off, and he was like, that's not that bad. We said, well, maybe you just have to do it again and press the paper harder. So she waxed up his ass crack and his asshole and his So pain. he asked for more. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was that bad. it wasn't that bad. <laughs> so, and at that point, we told her not to wax it, and Iraq, we made 
pull his pants up and spend the rest of his day with what amounts to like honey and wax up his ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> and it, his ass cheeks stuck together so was bad. Was there no father figure in his life or anything? <laughs> that, just some sort of fucking, <laughs> some sort of self-respect that you'd have for yourselves <laughs> where, guys, I think I do enough for this show. I'm drawing the line with the honey wax. <laughs> Yeah, he was very quick to say, okay, okay. So here's the audio. Just a, just a montage. He is a walking of, example of, of if you don't respect yourself, who's going to? Don't wreck the bit, man. Uh, that's what I do, Obi. We got bit other wrecker. things we want to do with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. oh, hey. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, he oh, had a he curse. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear a curse? Ah, he cursed again. again. Ah. <laughs> Ow. Oh, what? What? Did he, what? Think, ah. did he think something inappropriate? Oh, wait, what? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Iraq, you cursed. Ah. <laughs> 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 he, he fell off the toilet. <laughs> He's crumpled. Oh my god, that's not a horrific. Yeah, he was in like real right? pain. That's actually funny. It is. Well, <laughs> you like it is. <laughs> it's... We got a party pooper on the line. Joe in Texas, what's up? Hey, uh, instead of you guys playing that fucking E-Rock bit over and over again every 10 minutes, yeah. I'll just go to Nelly Furtado and the Justin Timberlake remix they did together. And since you guys don't have anything to fucking talk about, because that, that, that's garbage. It's not even a fucking uh, good bit, dude. Joe, right. then, the then, fuck? then turn off the fucking it, it, channel. You understand this is a pay service, sir? You understand this yeah, is a There are 200 yeah. or so channels or, or no, something that you can go to. Go somewhere else. Do you understand we're not playing the same bit and, and, and people yeah. send in. No. And then we play it and then people send in their own like remixes. Do you do understand no. that? No? Don't get offended. You don't understand don't that? Don't get offended. Oh, now he's being passive aggressive. Don't but, get offended. Just move on. How about you get a radio show, asscock? What do you do down there in Texas? I'm a truck driver. No shit. Drive it into a fucking abutment. Your mother is a cunt. Uh, there you go. Problem solved. I don't understand, man. And when his I... mother is. I fucked her in the ass one day, and pus <laughs> came shooting out down my ball sack. Because she had an ass infection. I don't understand. If you don't like it, you just just go somewhere else for a while. Oh, Joe. Crash your truck, Joe. I hope you're hauling fuel. And, and you think you made it out of the wreck, and then you realize the whole thing is on fire... And you get set on fire, and you you slowly burn to death. Thank you. All right. <laughs> so we took that audio. Here's Joe. <laughs> Don't play the E-Rock bit. We His took last that words. Derek started this phenomenon. He took the audio, and we happen to have some audio of uh, a gay porn star that they interviewed out there in Vegas. Yes. Yeah. Diesel Washington. He's the real deal. Big black guy. Scary black guy. That's a gay porn star. Mm -hmm. So they remixed the uh, E-Rock audio in with him uh, being interviewed. The Opie and Anthony Show proudly presents an intimate moment with adult video star Diesel Washington and our own E-Rock. Now you can make this easy or you can make it hard. You're going to do everything I say. If you don't do anything I say, I'm going to smack you across the face. I ah! Start off on your knees first. Just... Ah! <laughs> Sniff my balls with your nose first. <laughs> then I'll pull out my cock. Shove it in the back of your throat. Ah! Smack it across the face a couple of times, then bend you over, spit into your asshole, work two fingers in there, open it up in a circular fashion, then I'll work my fist in you. <laughs> Doesn't that sound That's real? That's why the guy from Texas is an asshole. Wow. Oh, we've heard that mother. We've heard that more than anybody because we just play it when we're not on the air. It's so yeah. fucking funny. It's great. How horrific is that, Bill? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Having a good time right up until about five minutes ago. <laughs> it's all of a sudden gotten un uncomfortable. Yeah, so you guys started doing the violation of E-Rock. Well, so then Derek <laughs> started something, and we got this one that came in. And then we got new ones. This is where this is leading to. Well, you better play some new ones. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> then he got this one. If you will not be dead, you will be dead. 
destroyed. Star Wars. Yeah, it's nice. By the way, here's our dilemma. On a, you on gotta a daily... put Bobby Kelly in there with his knee. Oh well, this is this is uh, the same bit we did that with his uh, yeah. with his knee. Hey, uh, this is our dilemma uh, that, that we go through every day. Uh, Scott in North Carolina, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about that last uh, truck driver from Texas calling in. I was like, "Fuck him, play it again." Yeah, see, there are see? people that enjoy I it. Likes it. Thank you, don't Scott. like it. The bottom line is, yeah. it's our show. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, if you don't exactly. like play it. whatever we want, you don't like it. Don't Go somewhere else the fuck for a while. out. And people, and then, and then people get mad and go. And all they say is, if you don't like it, change the station. But what I have to say is, unimportant. Shut the fuck up. Right. Find another show that gives you this much material on a daily basis. Why are you fucking it changing happening. it? Why? It happening. Why would you sit there and listen to a show you fucking can't stand unless it's the John and Jeff show? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only show I give that to. Oh, God, is that thing awful? I give permission to oh. listen if you I, hate. I was just having a good time until 30 seconds ago, Bill. <laughs> It's the show that's on before us on um, uh, Free FM. Oh, it's just awful. Two guys from L.A. It could be the worst show ever, ever, ever. It, no, it is absolutely the be, uh, the worst show. I'm out there Best next week. I'm going to listen. Ever, ever. <sighs> well, you can listen in New York. They're on just... Oh, you're never up there. They're really. nice. Or when you're coming home, they're on. They're all nice. I think they started like 2 in the morning or they something They sound like that. gay. One guy goes to Thailand on vacation for weeks at a time. Just experience the culture. I mean, it's yeah. not like... You know what that's all about. <laughs> Uh, it's not a uh, it's not a smoking gun Steers at all. The culture, the culture over there is having sex with children. Yeah, that's their culture. All right, here we go. Huh? What? And Nicole Smith died. Are you kidding? Really? Holy shit! Illegal drugs found what? in Smith's hotel room. What is this about? Huh. Wait a minute, and, and she was on drugs? Oh, just stop it! It's she, too early. She choked, choked on her own vomit. vomit. Is of what they're reporting? Mm. And you can die from that. When did this story hit? I don't know. It's not like I got any emails about it last night. Huh. <laughs> Everyone's email. Uh, were you just afraid to open your email? When I saw it, I'm like, oh, here it comes. 800 new emails. And then my MySpace. Hey, did you hear? Shut up. All right, here we go. New E-Rock waxing remixes. The first one is from our own Danny. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Full metal jacket. Of course. There you go. Very good, Danny. The old soap in the sock uh, beating scene. I don't know what happened to me. The first time I saw that movie, that was a real sad scene, and I watched it the other night, and tears rolling down my eyes laughing. <laughs> I just died laughing as he's going. When, when he it's started, when he goes, ow. Why? Ow, why? Why? That was the best why? one. Ow! <laughs> it's Ow, echoing. Like he's eight. It's just echoing the loneliness. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Fucking hilarious. Now it's hysterical. Far You're right. From home. What happened? In the dark. No How one does that happen? I was just laughing. Yeah. Why? You had a fucking jelly donut in your foot locker and I had to do an extra 200 push ups. Yeah. You look at him to hit you in the head. You fat, fat boy. fuck. <laughs> Let's go to Chris in Ohio. Chris, you're on the Opie and Anthony hey. show. Hi, Chris. Hey, how you doing, boy? Hey, how are you? Love your show. Thank you, sir. Uh, All your callers sound like Harry Gant today. 
Skull Bandit. <laughs> Skull Copenhagen oh, Happy Days. Just a pinch between her cheek and gum gives you real tobacco pleasure. <laughs> Fuck that, Kelly Yarborough. I'm going to get him this week at the Redneck 500. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyway, go ahead, Chris. Kelly Yarborough. I want to nominate E Rock for the world's greatest Skull. Elvis impersonation. Elvis? Yeah, he's on the toilet shaking and jiving and falling nah. down. Screaming. There you go. Thank you, there. sir. Yeah, the video's up all over the place in all the usual places. Here's the next one. It's uh, Jared in Boston came up with this one. He died hours before this accident ever happened. So our accident is not an accident at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's a great one. Hey, that's a good one. I like that one, right? Short, yeah. sweet. You knew where it was coming, but then uh, it came around. It was funny anyway. Yeah. Almost hit right. the same note. Yeah. Let's go to the Outer Banks. Love the Outer Banks. We got someone listening from the Outer Banks. Outer Banks. North Carolina. This is Sam in the Outer Banks with this little doozy. This crowd has gone deadly silent. Cinderella story out of nowhere. A former greenskeeper now about to become the Masters champion. <laughs> it looks like I'm a wreck. It's in the hole. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how that was going to work. Uh, that's funny. That's funny. Doesn't make much sense, but it's funny. <laughs> it still works. Hearing the swipe and then the scream. Uh, yeah, so, something with his ass, basically. Yeah. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. By the way, I saw you just shoot yourself with you that rubber that? band. <laughs> oh, he's playing with a rubber band. Just shot him right in the eye. <laughs> Uh, the next one is from um, Coke Logic. Ah, he's yes. always he's always good for a one. Favorite, of course, a fan favorite, a show favorite, I should mm -hmm. say as well. That was annoying. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, terrific. I bring nothing to the table. <sighs> well, I guess that's the end of the bit. We were having fun. Bit, bit's it. over. Yeah, that was it. Whew. So... Razzle dazzle. Um, guess so. Uh, so, Bill, you're going to do a show on uh, 202 Saturday night. Yeah, called uh, Uninformed. Oh. Uh, we're going to have uh, audio. Yeah. We've got to do that, but I, I don't know. I'm just not believing in audio clips now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something about them now that just. Uh, and what's uh, what's on the razzle dazzle? Razzle dazzle. Mighty needs. Okay. Uh, the ONA staff musical adventure hour featuring. Fan this wow. week. You're oh, okay. Yes. That's where the guys get a, you know sit around and just goof on uh, what what Dan likes in music. Dan picks his music. Mm -hmm. They play a tune, and then the other guys get to kind of critique his taste in music. Uh, it was very successful. The uh, one episode I heard. How many have there been? <laughs> uh, three. three. Yeah. Three. Travis, uh, Danny, and Sam. Yeah. All on there. Now, how? What? Give me a little little taste of uh, what you like. Fan. I like um, a lot of independent rock. Oh, is that oh, it? Wow. Yeah. Like what? Name one band. Like that uh, Logic song we just heard. <laughs> yes. Uh, Wolf Parade. Wolf Parade. Yes. Wolf Parade. Really? I thought he was yeah. going to say Wolf Mother, and then he throws a parade in there and <laughs> fucks the whole thing up for me. Yeah. Wolf Parade. Yes. Okay. All right. And uh, I, I guess the guys kind of gave you a lot of too cool for the room flack. Yeah. yeah. Sam. 
is Sam. giving a thumbs down. Thumbs down. Well, I mean, his uh, well, his, right. his variety hour is here if you want it, but it's uh, he had all kinds of great artists like uh, Rob Zombie and Rob Zombie and White uh, Zombie and, uh, and Fergie and Fergie. Yeah, Fergie. Uh oh, here comes Sam. Yeah, here he comes. with his candy head. Watch his, <laughs> watch his head. Watch his head. We don't want him to lose all the candy, candy today. His head is full. Your, your head is full of candy. Shut careful. up. Careful. Don't move too much. We all know. Open. It said, said old people candy too. There's no candy. <laughs> oh, it's salt water taffy. Like, yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, little like individually like candy. wrapped. Werther's. Yeah. Werther's original. <laughs> There's no candy in my head, and there was no Fergie on my. A little hour. watermelon. Yeah, prove oh, that cut your tongue? That, 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 yeah, that free candy. That you just give it away at like a dental office. Horrid stuff. Prove that that has not filled the candy. Yeah, prove have it. have an yeah, MRI those, or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> MRI. But I will not be cutting my head open. Do you have like those little see. Valentine's Day candies in your head? The ones no. that say I love you yeah. or the little yeah. hearts? No. What kind of candy is it? Is it it's hard candy? candy? <laughs> is it exclusively one type of candy? It's the Why bad candy. No, it's like a cornucopia of different types of candy. He's like a pinata, really. You a cornucopia? Yeah, Instead like of a corn ucopia? Corn ucopia? Corn ucopia, yeah. Razzle dazzle. <laughs> Razzle dazzle. Full of corn ucopia. Right. Th- I'm an asshole. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> like, this head's did. still full of candy. I, even though I fucked up the word. <laughs> corn ucopia diva. Wait, this is Steve's thing. Steve really is convinced that your head is filled with candy. Now, so Steve, everyone hits it and tries to get candy out of it. Let me ask you. Candy corn. Is that something you find in certainly could be. It certainly could be. You see, he restocks every night. I do not, uh, you know, uh, uh, those Mary Janes. Oh, Mary Janes, absolutely. Mary Jane. This morning, I believe, <laughs> I believe I saw a Rolo coming out of there. This a morning. Rolo? I love you just, Rolos. Caramel filled up. Uh, chocolate. You know what? And I believe him because he's oh, testifying into the McCarthyism <laughs> microphone there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, the small little microphone you got. Uh, no, Your Honor, plead the fifth. <laughs> It's very official. Have you or anyone you ever known have candy in their head? <laughs> they uh, certainly yeah. have. A coworker of mine. You, you're under oath, sir. <laughs> Skittles. I'm quite aware. Yes. Oh, Skittles came up the other day. Actually. Skittles, Skittles is the obvious one. Yes. Uh, Steve was hypothesizing that if you actually crack Sam's head open, I think railroad a spike. A, a, uh, with a railroad spike, <laughs> that a rainbow, yes, will shoot out. Rainbow. Which is far um, from the truth. <laughs> It would just be blood. I was killed. It that. really is. He has a whole Pinocchio look about him, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, it it's full of candy. <laughs> It really is. <laughs> and I just love, has anybody gotten any out of his head no, at this point? He's blind? very selfish. Yeah, he's extremely selfish. He doesn't like to share. All the time, I just see Than, he holds his hand in right. front of his, uh, Sam's face, and then will smack the back of his head and try to get candy out of his head, and, and Sam doesn't like this. Only if you just give up some candy, There is stop. no candy to give up. <laughs> oh, don't lie. I wish I could give up candy and oh. make all this madness stop, but candy there's no head. candy. I don't oh, know where this the madness would just continue. Really what I want to do is take a bone saw <laughs> and just go around the outer line of Sam's you understand. head <laughs> Every, and put a hinge what, on the back. <laughs> what type of candy is in the, rose, the rosy cheeks there? <laughs> well, we're not really sure going on how the, far the down does it go in cheeks. his head. Interestingly enough, we brought this up this morning. I think that if I go through with my hinge plan of taking the top no. of his head right at the brow line right at the brow line and putting a hinge on the back you could crack it open much like a candy jar and put your hand your arm deep down within sort of this endless chasm of candy for the last wow. two weeks every single day all I'm trying to do is cut up audio or do something and I'll be working diligently and Steve every single time he walks by will touch my head with his hands there's a in secret some way. lever yeah. yeah there's no lever there's some kind of lever he'll it's be outlining my head Sometimes they press his nose. I'll you have to knock on his head yeah. a, a I say certain you gotta, amount of times. you got to pull both earlobes down. Have you tried pulling the ears? I've tried pulling yeah, the go, ears. Go, yeah. yes. go try it. I'm going no, with the, jelly beans. There's no jelly candy. beans. Jelly beans. Yeah. Of course jelly there's beans. There's no jelly beans. Yeah, Dan, do some things to maybe no. try to get some candy out of his ben, head. You won't get I, I want to see. His head was on Ronald Reagan's desk. No, it wasn't. Try to get some candy out. Maybe this will be the moment. The basic the basic tap on the back. Maybe you have to hit his head harder. Off. All right. The the tap of the back. And there's pulling the ears. That's <laughs> no candy. Pulling my no ears. Candy. No candy just is let candy out. out, and it ends. There's no candy. Oh, God. it's just teeth. And then it, I now he's just shaking his head no. about violently. No. You can no. hear it if he, if he pushed his, his nose. Shake nose. his head no, numerous no. times. Nothing. Try the three stooges. Approach. You're fucking selfish. No. Oh, he's moving his arm up and down like a 
slot machine. <laughs> Danny with the camera. And yeah, and, one, and waiting for the candy with no, the hand out in front of his mouth. The nothing. Can see one theory. No selfies. Yeah. Two to the eye. No, three to the eye. Three Stooges style. Three Stooges style. He blocked it. Three Stooges style. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got long fingers. Something. No, nothing. One theory is to put like a coin slot right in between his eyes and use his nose. <laughs> with what? As <laughs> what would you cut that with? Your bone saw again, Steve? Yeah. Perhaps a bone <laughs> saw. Maybe all know you fucking have somewhere. Same bastard. Turn his nose into one of those little twisty things on a vendor. Oh, he actually slid... Like, you know how you adjust the volume on your iPod? Yeah, yeah. He did that with his eyebrows, trying to <laughs> no dispense candy from his head. No roll wheel on my head. <laughs> <laughs> There's no roll wheel on my head, he says. <laughs> He's got to justify it all the time by going, I don't have candy in my head. I just don't. There's no way any candy is going to come out because there's none inside. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, he pushed yeah. his Stop belly. Stop poking my belly. Yes, uh, hook a mouse up to his uh, his <laughs> navel and select candy. It <laughs> might be some type it's of computer, computer thing. Theory. Do you have a USB port? No. It's your asshole, isn't it? <laughs> no. And then, we, like Phil said, select candy and it'll pour out. <laughs> He'll be powerless to stop it. There's it's no a computer. Computer. There's no hard no drive. computer. Uh, motherboard. All right, we're going to get to the bottom of this eventually. Yeah. The bottom Certainly. is there's no there's candy. There's something going there's on candy. there. I want to we're turn him upside down, make him do a headstand, use your bone saw, move his whole body, and just <laughs> use the top of his skull as a candy dish. Yeah. I was talking about the music idea. idea. What about uh, if we tickle you <laughs> under the arms there? No, I would laugh and giggle, but there'd be no candy. No candy. No candy. No candy. No. Well, Sam, no take my word for it. Oh, I let's got, see. Dan, I got it. What's that? Pull his tongue out. No. Pull In the cartoons, that looks like a slot machine, <laughs> yeah, and no. his eyes will spin around, and if <laughs> and it goes really seven, his ears will clap <laughs> together yeah. over his head. Tickle him under the arms. <laughs> I'm tickling enough. Okay. <laughs> There's no candy. See? Why don't you poke well, him like yeah, the Pillsbury Doughboy? Just spittles come out. No he candy. spit on the mic a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. His magic thumbs. Ooh, yeah, there's magic. something about the magic thumbs. They're yeah. so long. Look pull at his thumbs, back. how big it's they are. Pull the thumb back a little bit. Just a little. I'll do it. It's a I'll lever. No, nothing. Uh, Maybe that uh, controls a little crane in his no. head. And you oh. got to drop the candy down, and then it comes out of his mouth. I you look in it. his eyes, and you can see if you're picking it up. But for some reason, even if you get a grip on it, it always slips out. <laughs> Why is you this got to so You grab remembers. his dick like a lever. Oh, his dick? I thought it was his thumb. Yeah, Bill, Bill He'll probably want dick. you to search for the candy if you <laughs> put it that way. Yeah. Yes, there's candy in my head. Go ahead. <laughs> shave his head. There might be buttons underneath. No, there's oh, no yeah. buttons. Just feel it. You felt my head no, enough. There's no head. buttons. No buttons. No need there. to shave my head. There might no be a button. flat screen, though. You know, you what, 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 if you, <laughs> what if you take a hammer, like those strongman competitions, <laughs> right. and you just slam it down on his foot? If, you, if you hit it, no. there's a foot. I do, too. I would just it goes have a right broken up. The foot. pressure builds up, comes out, and candy and it shoots, shoots like, out. like a geyser out of the top of his head. Let's hang him from a tree and hit him with a baseball bat. Exactly. Pinata. That's just a regular pinata. Pinata, yeah. Yes. I am not a pinata. We'll put paper mache on his head. <laughs> Those are stale marshmallows, Dan. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, hey, a marshmallow. You're getting getting close. Close. You did down. that with I know he hands. eats a lot of those. He really does. Uh, Every time he comes in and sees the bag open, he's got to eat. It replenishes right. the sweets. Steve, take him to the lab, will you? Right. Come on. Yeah. Take him to the institute. Figure it out. We right. need to, to study him further. I don't we know this. We've got to run there. some more experiments with Sam and his, Everyone and knows. his candy skull. Everyone knows, Sam. Stingy candy head. <laughs> You're greedy. You're selfish. You're going to be on the Discovery Channel soon. I'm but telling you. That's not true. No, there's candy headed. He sounds like he has candy in Of course. He does, because yeah. he does. Yes. There's no candy. Did you guys try pulling on his teeth? No. Stingy. Maybe one of the... You're stingy. Maybe one of the... Hung off. No? All right. <laughs> there he goes. Um, people are saying we missed a boat. I know. I know we that was. Dr I drive home, first of all. I know that was a Nirvana song, about? first of all. They're saying that it was brilliant, and we missed it. The Coke Logic thing is brilliant. Oh, yeah. Because it's done to a Nirvana song. I knew it was done to a Nirvana song. Yeah, it's just song. a little sloppy. That's all. All right. That's all. Well, Coke Logic gave, like Coke Logic. gave us another one. Let's see if he makes a comeback here. All right. Another Wait a second. Let me, let me grab... Uh, I want to grab Sam by the arm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Nothing came out. <laughs> Maybe he needs to be refilled. <laughs> you got to oil his joints. Who refills him? <laughs> One has to. Jesus. Here's Coke Logic. Jesus. Another try at the E Rock waxing remix. I'd like some more too, please, sir. She spilled my coffee. I'm sorry, sir. You f bitch. Oh! I'll bring you a little coffee. Oh! How do you like that? You wouldn't get away with it here. Oh! You shouldn't get away with it at home. <laughs> Our favorite PSA from Canada that never aired. Wow, we haven't heard that one in a long time. A really long time. That is, that's good. That one is that that's, up on YouTube? That should good. be. 
I think so, yeah. That's one of our favorites. You ever see that uh, public service announcement? No, what is it? Their whole uh, ploy was that they would put out put out these PSAs that you can't get away with beating uh, women or your wife or anything in public. You can't just be out in public and start punching your, your women around. Uh, so don't do it at home. So they give you examples of people that are doing it in public. So this guy sits down at a restaurant with his two young children, a, a young daughter and son. The waitress comes over and pours out some coffee into his cup and spills a little bit of coffee as, a she, drop or two. as she pulls the, the thing away and kind of laughs and goes, you know, oh, sorry. And he goes, you spilled my coffee. <laughs> like he's laughing. She goes, sorry. And he goes, you fucking bitch and grabs her puts her on the table and starts violently just punching her in the face and then takes the hot coffee and spills it on her tits <laughs> and then they go you wouldn't get away with it here like, and, and Canada Jesus said Christ. it never aired when, they can, it never aired it. they banned it and then what do they have after that about uh you know, it's fucking a, in public. You yeah. do this, but <laughs> here's is the actual, this the actual spot. Yeah, here it is. Bill's got it. She spilled my coffee. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You fucking bitch. I'll bring a little coffee. How do you like that? You wouldn't get away with it here. You shouldn't get away with it at home. <laughs> Don't cringe. It's like Full that Metal was, Jacket. That was the stupid. You laugh though after you see it for you. No, a I'm more just times. thinking they're like they should have. You premise. would think that they would somehow have the woman beat the shit out of the guy to somehow. Yeah, not yeah I understand the, the premise. You find it's silly. Well, they got one in the boardroom. Just get too. dark in here. <laughs> no. Oh my god, I got a brain tumor. What happened? Oh boy, let me. <laughs> this is how it's gonna end for you. No. She was a, a true beauty and yeah, and she. Yeah. Dealt with all the Wait, Kevin the difficultness of being famous, but I'm very Why? sorry that she had a uh, tragic demise like this. It's not it's a, it's not a good thing. Well, even before the autopsy, yeah, keep convincing yourself it was a son. I didn't know about how Smith may have died. Tony Potts is the correspondent with Access Hollywood. He joins Tony! us now. Uh, Tony, tell us what you've been able to uncover about the circumstances surrounding Anna Nicole's death. Nothing new. Hey, this is Port yes, yeah. Last night on uh, AccessHollywood.com, we broke news that we found out that uh, when they went in there and they she was under a sheet, Anna Nicole Smith, and when they pulled back the sheet that she had vomited in her mouth, she had seemingly, apparently, choked on her own vomit. Uh, we got that news uh, late last night right around uh, 7 o'clock uh, West Coast time. I am now, of course, in Hollywood, uh, went from Hollywood, California, now to Hollywood, Florida, where behind me at 9.15 a.m. they started the autopsy on Anna Nicole Smith. Uh, I think there will be more revelations coming in the next uh, couple of hours, uh, as you mentioned earlier, Definitely. Amy, that uh, they will have the uh, preliminary What he's saying is they have nothing new. Emmy no. report, nothing uh, new. On, what new do you have? Nothing. They had footage of brown paper bags being carried into yeah. the hospital. By yep. the way, uh, this is prime for a uh, ONA pest sign. Oh, absolutely. In Hollywood, Florida. I don't know if we have any pests in that area, but that would be uh, yep. terrific. They're all Get down doing, to the uh, hospital. They're, they're, they're all doing, doing autopsy, live yeah. shots like crazy down there. Uh, and don't forget, we got the video on opianathy.com of them pumping her chest as they're, they're getting her out of the hospital. So giving her CPR. Yeah, they're they're doing some CPR. Yeah, it's an ex it's a, it's the real deal, by the it way. Sound like somebody's it's the real video for one last little giddy up. Here's the last one for today, Anthony. E Rock waxing remix. Casino Royale. You saw the movie? Oh yes, I did. Keep that in mind. You know, I never understood all these elaborate tortures. It's the simplest thing to cause more pain than a man can possibly enjoy. Oh! And of course, it's not only the immediate agony, but the knowledge that if you do not yield soon enough, there will be little left to identify you as a man. <laughs> the only question remains, will you yield in time? Rock. Oh! <laughs> ah! Yes! 
Now the whole world's gonna know that you don't scratch the fucking. Yes, they beeped it for the other yeah, side. Yeah, for of the, show. the other side. Now the whole now world the knows what. That's you. Yeah, something scratch, hit scratched you. my balls. Yeah, like he said, he had an itch. <laughs> it, it's a, it, it's a real, it's pretty uh, brutal torture scene in, in uh, that James movie. Bond. Yeah, he's sitting in a chair, and there's the, the, like no bottom to the chair, so it's kind of sitting like almost like a toilet seat <laughs> you're sitting on, and um, his balls are hanging down. Yeah, like an eighty balls are kind of just <laughs> hanging down. Yeah, he's, he's got no uh, pants on, and uh, this guy has this rope with like a knot on it. And he's just swinging it and doing these uppercut shots into his ball bag with this fucking big heavy rope. And, uh, of course, he's James Bond, so they ask him for the password and stuff like that. And he says, you know, I got a little itch on the left side. <laughs> he just scratched my balls. Because <laughs> he's Bond, Which, which, which Bond, Bond was this one? The new one, last one. Daniel Craig. <clears throat> it's a good movie. Um, yeah, I heard it was. Actually, yeah, I, did. Yeah, I heard it was. Very good Bond movie. They kind of right. throw out all the old Bond shit and start a new well, well, that's it for today as far as those go. Let's go to Tony and I. Thank Iowa. God. Why don't you play something else in the uh, E-Rock stuff? Uh, burr, 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 burr. Tony! Hey, what's going on, boys? How are we doing this Tony. morning? What's up? Uh, I just wanted to call and bitch you guys out because you guys were playing that damn uh, Don't Worry Be Happy song. I'm back in school now, and I'm just walking around campus going, bah, 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 and people are looking at me like I'm crazy. But mm. I, I had to skip class the other day to figure out how to turn that into a ringer for my cell phone. What what song, Tony? The the, the Don't Worry Be Happy song, the the Steve C song. How does it go? C. The Steve C song. How does it go? Oh crap! The ba 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 ba. I know I'm an idiot. Punch it out. Wait, ba 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 ba. One more try, Tony. How does it sound? Ba 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 ba. I'm a glutton, but okay. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> yeah. All right. Punch it out. Ba 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 much is the Hard Rock Cafe loving this? They start, oh, they yeah. start renting out the room that she died in for more money. Didn't even think about that. You're right. The Hard Rock uh, Hotel and that what, casino down there? Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's They're already blowing the out place. the walls to rope it off. We'll what? turn it into a ride or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> a ride. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I was thinking we should coast to the end, but we got a couple of uh, good things oh. we could still do here. Because, you know, that's all we do is try to coast as much as possible. Soapbox Derby, it. Uh, I like to call it. This is quick and stupid. The big call down. this morning for General Motors to pull one of its most talked about Super Bowl ads. The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention says this ad about a quality-obsessed robot's offensive. The ad shows a robot jumping off a bridge after messing up on the job. The group wants the ad pulled from TV, GM's website, and other websites like YouTube. Earlier this week, Snickers pulled an ad showing two men kissing amid complaints it was homophobic. Homophobic. Yeah, Snickers uh, bailed. Bunch what of happened? pussies. Did you see the Super Bowl? Yeah. See all the dumb commercials? Yeah. Did you see, like, the mechanics? The one guy has a Snickers. And, oh, yeah. and they actually end up kissing? Yeah, because yeah, he wants a bite of his Snickers. And they say it's homophobic? Cause, cause, it isn't homophobic. That's the natural reaction of two heterosexuals kiss. Uh, That's what I you. said. That's what we said. Come on. Jimmy said Homophobic would have been if you, if you somehow uh, uh, attack gay people yeah. in a way. You didn't. 
You think if like, a gay guy's mouth accidentally hit a vagina, he would be like, Ugh. Jesus, exactly what we were saying. exactly what we were saying. Oh, saying. Oh, no, it's it, good, though. It, it's because, good because that's the fucking logical way to look at this. If, if they showed the two guys with the Snickers and their mouths touched, and one guy went, you fucking faggot, and grabbed a monkey wrench and pummeled the other guy, that might be able to be interpreted to be gay bashing. Yeah, they both immediately got fired because they kissed. Right. <laughs> the boss was watching. He's jerking off to him. <laughs> and then fires him because You know what the insecure. worst thing is? Is the two actors who actually went in there and kissed and like, fuck it, man. It's a national commercial making the money. Yeah. And now they're pulling it. They pull the spot. They pull they it. They had to do it. And they kissed a dude for no reason and everybody saw it on the Super Snickers Bowl. Snickers wussed out, unfortunately. But yeah, Bill's got it right, too. They just, yeah, it was it was one of those things where as normal heterosexual men that you go, ugh, yeah, you recoil. There's nothing gay bashing you know what about so, that. Someone has to do, and I think once they do it, it's going to end it. One of these advertisers or whatever, one of the, these companies that has a product out, well, yeah, that's homophobic. No, it isn't. You should pull the ad. No, we're not doing it. No. There is an outrage. No, there isn't. People no. still buying Snickers. <laughs> no, no, there isn't. No, there isn't. No one's really going crazy. I bet half the gay population doesn't even give a fuck. It's just you 30 guys with your signs and your bullhorn. Yeah. That's really what's going Go ahead. on here. Dude, we say, give we it say your best that shot. too all the time. Yeah. Like, don't, don't cater to these idiots. Give it your best shot. Go ahead. Boycott. But, do whatever but, you want. So Snickers Bell yeah. on, the, on the, the gay ad there or whatever, uh, GM said, go fuck yourselves. They're not, wow. they're not pulling their ad. Yeah, General Motors is in bad shape anyway. Oh, good for them, though. They yeah, don't suicide care. prevention. We paid a lot for this spot. Fuck you. Suicide prevention loses on this one. So go jump off a bridge somewhere. Yeah, it's a machine. It was a machine. It was a machine. It's It doesn't have a heart or a, a brain. It's a, a robot that built cars. Yeah, exactly. We interrupt this program. What? The Ozone Midget Sighting of the Day. Uh, oh, this coming. Mike, I didn't see it coming at all, Anthony. I didn't think you did. Uh, Mike, what's up? Hello? Hey, Mike, you're on the air. What's up? Listen, got a good midget sighting. Yeah, okay. I was downtown. I was, this little guy, he walked out. He couldn't have been more than about three and a half foot tall. Aw. Had the T-Rex arms, just like the lady on Deal or No Deal did the other night. And he was reaching for his keys in his pocket and got them out. A little vein across his fingers. And I noticed he had a shiner. I've never seen a midget with a black eye. <laughs> oh, he got in a fight? I guess he had gotten in a fight. He had the worst black eye I've ever seen. I would think I you would think see a lot of midgets with black eyes. Maybe he fell down and his arms weren't long enough to <laughs> block Yeah, his, he couldn't he block the falling. fall and he just fell on his eye. Oh, man, I mean, it's, it, he had like a double XL upper body and about an 80, 18 inch inseam on his pants. He was His legs were like... It's like the Super Fighting Bowl. Irish logo, that guy. <laughs> <It was fantastic. laughs> a little short guy. Put him. Put up your dukes. Oh, boy, he's coming in a lot, so let's give Nancy some attention. Are you done there, Mike? Yeah, buddy. Punch it out. I love uh, you guys. All right, thank you. Meanwhile, back at the show. On the instant feedback, Nancy P. Why, why don't you call the show? The number's right there on your unit. 866-WOW-WOW, Nancy. Unit. We'll talk. She's from San Francisco. Are you jerks happy enough she fucking died so you can make fun of her? What? You're insensitive assholes. Who? Oh. Anna Nicole? Or the robot from the fucking car commercial? <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with... <laughs> what's, Wait, what's wrong with Anna Nicole? I heard the... She uh, collapsed She broke a hotel. heel. She broke a heel in her hotel room. Yeah? And uh, she fell down, which caused her to throw up. Yeah? And, and uh, some... I guess there was a lot of it. Yeah. And she filled up the room. There you go. There's some news organizations are exaggerating the story. A little bit. Hey, a so GM bit. said, go fuck yourselves. And do you yeah. see how there's no outrage about it? And then, then what do the, the suicide people do? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just walked, that's all you have to do. Right. All, we've, we've said that constantly. Like whenever these uh, groups try to tell the show, hey, we're angry with what you're saying. We're going to boycott. Go ahead. I've never heard of a boycott working. I've never heard of one gathering up enough steam where it actually worked. Which one? Kev? You're looking like a... Uh, Weren't you fired because of a boycott? Not a boycott. No, no. The boycott never... We were fired well before any boycott. We were fired because there was a threat of a boycott. They said, oh, if you don't fire them, uh, we're the Catholic League or whoever it was at the time, uh, uh, Bill Donahue and, and his cronies, said, um, uh, we'll boycott. Viacom and all of its products, Blockbuster Video, Paramount Pictures, everything we're going to boycott. And and Viacom went, ah! and fucking fired us. 
If well, they would have boycotted, what could they possibly have boycotted? No one would pay attention to them. Everyone would go about going to Paramount movies, going to Blockbuster. They go, I'm not going to Blockbuster video. I'm not going to... It was, it, boycotts don't work. The threat of a boycott, when these people cave in, Scary. that works. No, no, no some, some boycotts definitely work. Which I'm, one I'm works? Uh, well, Name me one that fucking ever worked. Uh, down in uh, Alabama, black people, they boycotted, they didn't oh take the Oh, my God, bus. okay, this half out. a century. Uh, I mean, I'm not really big on, like, like up on boycotts, but, I mean, shit can't... They don't work. They don't? Because people are selfish enough that if they want something, they're not going to fucking give it up for a cause. They can't give it up for their own fucking cause. Do you realize people fucking drop dead because they can't give shit up for their own self? That's a, that's they're going to give it up for... You people know what? I think, I, think, I, think, I think he's that's right. I think he's right. The, th the threat of it. So then, then if the you threat. have people who catastrophize in their thinking rather than being like, people don't have a memory longer than two weeks when it comes to this media they shit. They don't. It's the, right on to the next thing. Right. And no one's going to remember. No one's going to fucking, oh, wow, you know Coca-Cola you know, put you know out an ad that was offensive. We're going to boycott Coca-Cola. You know, Do you think people are going to say, fuck that stuff. It's only the best-selling fucking beverage in the world. And they're going to say, no. And Coke's going to go, holy shit. They're all drinking our Sales are plummeting. And you know what? The other day I was in a that a, that diner on the Upper West Side, the Seinfeld Diner. Tom's yeah. Diner. And, yeah, and they had a picture of Kramer. And I was and I was waiting for my food. I was just kind of looking at it. I looked at it for like ten seconds. And I went, Oh yeah, wait a minute. Then he go in there. He went on a big rant a few months. Oh, like, yeah, I completely, that guy. You almost forgot, right? Yeah, like I, I knew was something. So then I was like joking with the guy I was with, going like, Dude, do you think they took it down like for a week or something like that? <laughs> for a week. Yeah, let people Probably. forget. Then you put it back up. When do you put it back up? You gotta put it up. It's the Seinfeld Diner. Right. Yeah. So when people see enough episodes of Seinfeld that they forget that he was the uh, nigger, nigger, nigger guy, yeah, then, then, it's, then it's, it's fine. It's then over. you can hang the picture back up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that Kramer! I saw the episode with the fucking parking garage. Oh, it was hysterical. Yeah. A picture back up on the wall. Yeah. The way he slides into the apartment. That's <laughs> oh, amazing. Get the, get the fucking nails. Yeah. We'll put the picture back on the <laughs> Hey, let's say hi to Tony in, a, in Atlanta. Tony, what's up? What's happening, fellas? Hey. Hey, there was a news story here in Atlanta where I guess that they uh, previewed that Snickers ad for a couple of the bears, like Masin Muhammad and Rex Grossman or whatever. Yep. And they said that it took them 50 takes to get that thing done, and they pulled the thing after, like, being aired four times. Yeah, because they were Those showing, like, a disgusted response. Times. The, the players were showing, like, their response to the commercial. Uh -huh. So they would play it, and you'd see the players go like, ah, ah, ah. See, that was for the online version. Yeah. And, and, but but that's what heterosexual men do. They recoil in horror when you see two men kissing like that. It's just a natural reaction. You kind of, ugh. What do they want from us? Yeah, so, stop it. You want us to just licking go, ah. Oh. Mm. We, we can't sit there and go, that's great. That they're kissing. That's just a wonderful thing. That's actually, no, I never even thought about that. The whole, the threat of a boycott. Yeah, that's what is worse yeah. than the boycott. Well, here's boycotts a, don't work. Here's a great one. Mike in Wisconsin. Mike. Good morning, guys. Hey there, Mike. I was thinking back to about 15, 20 years ago when the Now Coalition, which Jeff, Jesse Jackson was the chairman of, decided to boycott Nike for not having enough executives of color. Well, that year, Nike posted their record earnings up to that date, <laughs> thanks to Jesse Jackson. Record Jackson's, earnings. Uh, yeah. What yeah. it does, it, it gives publicity to whatever you're boycotting, and not enough it, people actually stop buying it. It gets your logo all over the news. It doesn't offset the people that start buying it because all of a sudden it's in the uh, public eye. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? <laughs> that's, that's hilarious on a whole other level where it's like, this racist company... With their sweatshops, is not hiring enough black people. It's just like, so you want to be a part of that organization? You want to be a part of the machine, do <laughs> right. you? Part of the machine. So it's like, it's like bleeding heart liberal. Yet, yeah, I wouldn't even say it's bleeding heart liberal, but you know what I mean. It's definitely, you know, give everybody a chance, but uh, you know, keep enslaving the labor because we want to get some of that CEO money. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to pick and choose your battles when they uh, come yeah. down to a uh, and with that being part of the machine. Let's do line of the day because they got oh. they got a very special bit for the eleven o'clock hour. The one we were supposed to play yesterday. Oh, yesterday. We don't want to fuck it up two days in a row. Black it's History Month. It is. Black uh, History Earl. Month. Black Earl quitting the show. It's it's just terrific. And then we sent people out on the street trying to find him. Yeah. And then we decided that. If he's leaving the show, we need some kind of crazy sitcom ending. If you're used to Earl on the Ron and Fez show, uh, this is the old Earl. Yeah. Where um, he was just very unpredictable and he would angry all quit the time. angry all the time. He quit? Not it, the new Pleasant is Earl. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah, he, he, he quit, but he came back the right, next good. day. Hey, uh, 
Line of the Day, sponsored by BowDogFight.com. Don't really know what the website's about, so maybe you want to check it out for yourself. BowDogFight.com. Here's a runner-up line of the day. And the ingredients in shampoo that can make a boy develop breasts tonight at 10. <laughs> okay. I like it. Hall of Fame? I think that should be a Hall of Famer. Hall of Fame. Yeah. It's scary. It's a little titillating. Man tits by head and shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Burr. Billy gets a runner-up. He's going right, to be doing a show right. on 202 tomorrow night at uh, 9? Nine? 9. 9 yeah. o'clock. Uninformed. Nine Uninformed o'clock. with Bill Burr. Got great reviews the last time he did it, so check it out if you haven't yet. We got another runner-up line of the day sponsored by BowDogFight.com. Get the audio of Anna Nicole's uh, mother. That's the mother? Yeah. Well, she doesn't look that busted up. She's smiling. Well, because she's just as effed up. Anna look Nicole didn't talk to her is. mother for many, many years. <laughs> Jesus, Anthony. Sorry. <laughs> Boy, I did, as a matter of fact, Lee say that, didn't you I? You were daydreaming. I look how fat she is. Look how fat she is. I just, I was out of the show at that point. I was home. I was watching TV. And that was a thought. That wasn't even supposed to be That's why verbalized. That's so funny to me because it was. I was just looking at the back of your head as you watching TV. It's like you weren't even in the studio anymore. No, nah, I wasn't so supposed to be dead. Her <laughs> I don't know what happened. Old fatso. I don't know what happened to me. Old fatso got Big to you. Big Carol O'Connor oh, head she had. What I said. Yeah, well. I have to get it. I don't feel like working anymore. I had a good call. Uh, BodogFight.com sponsors line of the day. We gave these fuckers good radio this week. Go wow. fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourselves in your fuck holes. Here's today's line of the day. Here, here, here comes the line of the day. Line of the day. Line of the day. For the love of God, get a unicycle. It's mm -hmm. the pedophile's Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> it is a kid magnet. Right. Ah, kids are fascinated by him. <laughs> you want to go for a ride? There's only one seat. Hop on. Pedophile's Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all knew at that point. That's a that, good one. That would be God the line of the day from Bill Burr. Should end now so we can do the black girl bit. You guys have a great yep. weekend. Good weekend. Make sure you Back check out you. Bill Bye at night. the Punchline in two weeks in yeah. San Francisco, two weeks from 24th. today. And uh, Bill Burr tomorrow night on 202 at 9 o'clock. With Joe DeRosa. With Joe DeRosa. Uh, they did very well the last time. Check it out for yourself. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend.